Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on a Monday morning. Uh, thanks it's a so much for Monday. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. It's a lovely morning here in Southern California. Brian and Brendan talking at you live. Not really, actually, Never but you know live. what I mean. Right, but you know what I'm saying. We should figure out some way to get it going live. Uh, I feel like we've been doing it long enough. Yeah, you're right. But, you know... I have the capabilities. We never edit, really. I mean, we don't say anything... Never edit. You know? So, so we might as well do it live. What did you do this weekend? Had the... Had the fights. Had people over for the fights. Or, but our, our, at, when I say people, Peace. I had Joe's family over and then our good friend Todd Phillips. Mm-hmm. Feldman. Mm-hmm. Todd Feldman. Uh, and and uh, did you like the fights? Did you enjoy them? How about Demetrius Johnson? Um, I thought... And I and I even <clears throat> tweeted out or social media out that I was like, man, I feel like tonight's gonna be a special night. Until the last really two fights, I was like, boy, was I wrong. Mm. You could feel like there's no energy in the crowd, obviously, because yeah. of the Vegas situation. Yeah, all my friends who were at the fight. Tony Jeffries was uh, in Vegas. Yeah. Obviously, I have close friends still that work for the UFC and people who work in Vegas. They were just like, I can't believe this fight's still going on. And I was a fan of it going on. You mean they're still they're gonna have it? Yeah, still yeah. having it just because it's a it's a bit of distraction for everyone. Sure, Grant takes everyone's mind off the fight or with the tragedy. Um, you could just tell there was. I felt like there wasn't a lot of energy in the fighters in the arena. Yeah, um, and then the you know the the Bobby Green fight was good, but I felt like everyone was pushing way too hard. And like, whoa, this is the fight of the century. This is ridiculous. It was all right. Yeah, it was all right. And then the last two fights were good, but. I didn't follow why Derek Lewis was replaced. What happened? <clears throat> he woke up, and I guess his back, uh, he's had issues before. His back, he just couldn't move. Wow. Uh-huh. He just couldn't move, what, a seizure or something on his back? Not a seizure. Uh, he just, he's had back problems before. That's when he talked yeah. about retiring. It's weird that it happens the, the, that day, that morning. Of. Yeah. Maybe he did something to jerk or something like that. Right. That's a little weird. Um, I, they, I was looking forward to that fight the most, besides the main event. You were looking, but but I feel, do you, don't you feel? In. Don't you feel that they would the same thing that happened to Walt Harris would have happened to no, Derek? Absolutely not. But you mean but jujitsu wise, if he took him to the ground, I don't think Derek. Yeah, absolutely not. Really? No. Uh, I mean, if he would have got him, you know, Derek Lewis A is tough to take down. Very tough to take down. B. Huh? Good luck getting in there, taking him down. He's gonna knock you out. Yeah, he, can he won six in a row before he lost to Mark Hunt against tough guys. Yeah, he's got those comparing him to Walt Harris is, I mean. Walt Harris looks like a great athlete. It just looks like he just stepped off a football field as a defensive end. Yeah, know, it's you just know. you know there's, there's levels to thing. this game. Yeah, there's levels in yeah. you know in any division heavyweight. There's a bigger gap between the 15th ranked guy and the number one. guy. There's yes, such a big gap yes. in other divisions. Not so much at 125, 35, 45, 55, even so, at 70. The 15th ranked guy, the number one guy. There's any given night, you know, they could beat him in yeah. heavyweight. No, no. No, <laughs> too not. much of a discrepancy. The, the, mm-hmm. the, the it's so interesting to watch him. <laughs> different heavyweights. Like, look at the top fifteen. There's a reason why these old heavyweights can stick around, mm-hmm. and these other divisions they get mm-hmm. ate the fuck old up. Old salty lions. But uh, and, and the other thing, I thought it was good to have the event, but they focus so much on the Vegas. Yeah, and, uh, like, again, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you want it, I get you address it, I think, in the beginning. Yeah. Then you go about your business. Yeah. But they kept pushing on it. They kept pushing Yeah, there's this weird, there's this weird thing, there's this weird dance between the idea of how much are you going to let that piece of shit, you know, change affect, your life yeah. and affect, you know, the good things in life <laughs> versus how much time do you give for reverence, reflection, and communion? But I know? see, the, the reason why I was like, yeah. You should carry on with the fight, so you give people an outlet to to forget about what happened last Sunday, yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah, last Sunday. Yeah, doing that, you don't keep bringing it up and putting it in people's faces. We, we're all very aware of what happened. Correct. It's a horrible situation, but you know the yeah. crowd is pretty dead. You know, and you know it's not UFC's fault. Obviously, this fucking moron who pulled this horrible tragedy off, but the whole top. For the first time, was just blacked out. There's no one in the top rafters. God damn! They couldn't, you know, couldn't give tickets away. That's crazy. Yeah, and rightfully but so. It makes sense. I mean, would, who would want to go to? Hell that? yeah! Fuck yeah! You just in, in a group. I'm gonna go and get into a group again, like into a big stadium again. Mm, I don't I know, know. Joe went to a concert last night, and I was like, God, I would. She's like, You want to go to a concert? I'm like, No, no, no. I just don't. No thanks. I never like that stuff anyway. It always makes yeah, me nervous. We, yeah. What um? What'd what did you think do? of the the Demetrius Johnson? Uh, that that guy Borg fought for. Borg's tough. I mean, man. shit, he's tough. Super tough. Um, 
I thought, uh, you know, I thought DJ looked great. I thought, thank God he got that finish, especially to beat Anderson Silva's record. Yeah. It's a tough submission to pull off. He's finished everybody, has he not? No. No, no, no. Who, who's gone the distance with... Uh... There's been some guys we don't need yeah. to go through. He hasn't finished everyone. He's most, had he's had some finishes. Most guys, I mm. think. Most guys I've watched the last fights I've watched. He's his, his, la- his last his last like four or five. Yeah, he's pulled some off. Um, and then and then so Tony Ferguson, um, Kevin Lee, very good fight. And I mean, you know, pretty good. But good you, fight. Yeah. Um, what do you think about um, the, the, this? The shitty thing about that was I feel like Tony had the stage to kind of. Call Connor out and do his thing, and then the and everyone knows I'm a Tony fan. And the cussing that he did, like you can't use that. Yeah, no one can use that for a promo. I, I can't. You can't use it on Fox. You can't use it in the pay per view. They can't. Yeah. What are you gonna do with that? Yeah. You fucking bitch. You fucking piece of shit. You fucking come fucking get it. All yeah. right. Well, that's gone. Yeah. No one thought to tell him like, yeah. And especially when you're the favorite, and none of his corner men were like, this is the angle we should play. Rip this hot promo to get Conor McGregor out. Call him a paper champ. Say, you know, uh, I'm not going to fight unless I'm fighting Conor McGregor. That's the only fight Come I'm taking next. Come up with a next. fucking rhyme. Anything. Not, well, not a rhyme. Yeah. You don't have to be lame about it. Well, no, I'll but that's rhyme. what Ali would don't... do. Ali would do that. Well, you know, fuck's that... sakes, man. A rhyme? No, I'm just saying come up with a game plan where you you get Conor McGregor a to sound at least a sound come bite. out with, you know, at least acknowledge you won the like, A sound bite. Conor did yeah. not, didn't even acknowledge him. No. So he, he could have went about it a million ways, you know? Or rhyme for him a rhyme size thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, he's he's Tony Ferguson. Yeah. But uh, he just he dropped the ball there. But Dana said that's the next fight. I almost feel like they have to say that though. What do you mean? Of course you're gonna say that to establish some sort of order. Yeah. That he, he has to that's gonna be his next fight. Maybe. Connor's gonna tell you what he wants to do next. What what do you think of that fight uh in terms of um, based off, you know, Ferguson's fight against Kevin Lee, you know, Kevin Lee was laying a lot of good shots, Yeah, you know, but the thing is, is Kevin can wrestle his ass off. Tony can wrestle his ass off. Yeah. That'd be the different, the kind of almost, the, I won't even say X factors makes martial arts, but that would be the issue for Connor is Tony's wrestling. And it's jiu-jitsu. jujitsu. Yeah. Tony was, what's his pedigree in wrestling? I, I didn't know he was that All American team yeah. captain. Crazy. Grand Valley I didn't State. know. I had no idea. He was oh, that. really? Yes. Yeah. Stud. Stud. Kevin Lee also wrestled there. Yes. Kevin Lee took him down. I mean, pretty. Yes, he did. Pretty easily. well. Yeah. But that 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 tenth planet jiu jitsu, that whole you know triangle, yeah, yeah, pretty wild. Yeah. Um, that that does seem the big the biggest liability. So t- standing with Connor, I don't know. You, what do you, you mean? Th- you think Connor gets the the edge on that? You think Connor's? Uh, it, it, it's a good fight. I, but again, Tony's wrestling jiu jitsu would be could be some mm-hmm. trouble. Mm-hmm. Who knows what we're gonna get? Yeah, but but I think you have to say that's next. Otherwise, it makes that belt like it was worth nothing. Yeah. Of course, you can say that's what's next. Yeah, and I think DJ's. I think Demetrius Johnson is pound for pound number one. I I see people on social media like, oh, what happened to John Jones? What happened? You used to hate on the little guys. No, I still do. But John, John, I, I still, still do. do. Don't get it twisted. But John, with his PD issues and just being a bad human being in general, <laughs> you got to take him out. You can't. You you can't be pound for pound. I think anymore. it's interesting that in, with the UFC, when somebody kind of stops fighting, you don't miss him. Like even someone like John Jones, I mean, shit keeps going on. Like you just keep. We just keep talking. The, the fights keep going. Well, what is she gonna there. do? Right. I mean, but it's like it sucks. It yeah. definitely sucks. We need guys. We need yeah. fights, especially the fights that were gonna happen. The steep. Do we know and... anything about what's going on? Nothing. We have no final judgment on this. It, I mean, it's you still gotta you gotta wait for Nevada. You gotta wait for all that. No, uh, she couldn't get it to work. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, we had like three people doing it. So I don't know how, like, the machine we were trying to get the machine to go. Back in this thing. <laughs> oh no, worries. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> oh, good. Don't worry about it. We were. I need more coffee. Like I need a punch in the face. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, but, uh, with John, you gotta wait to see what the commission does from it. I saw something people were sending me that says he might not get a long suspension, but it's all hearsay. You just gotta wait for the commission. Yeah. He's missed though, for sure. Super yeah. missed. If you look at the light, light heavyweight division, it's, a, I mean, it's yeah. nothing gets you very excited. Right. What were the ratings? I mean, they probably weren't so good. Uh, we don't know yet. Yeah. I can't imagine the ones that were on Fox were good. Those right. fights were awful, and not and not a lot of big names either. But nope. 
What else? Um, what did you do? What else did you do this weekend? I had the kids. You had a full time mom slash dad. Not easy. Beastie. Yeah. You had Tiger all all day Sunday, all night Sunday. You don't know. Yeah. A beast. We watched Trolls three times. <laughs> my, Great movie though. My daughter watched Men in Black all three. Men in Black. Those One, are good two, movies. And three. Though. They're but great movies. Least, these those are she good movies. Like, least, ah! These you don't keep watching them over and over. Yeah. Like Tiger likes to watch something he's familiar with. Oh yeah. So it's Moana or oh, Trolls. Oh, and their kids they'll watch that over. I'm and like, what's over wrong with you, man? Over. They they it's a familiar. Any, and then I change something else. Not having it. <laughs> There's so much to see for their little brains and their little eyes. Well, he likes I mean, the singing. Moana. Yeah, I love he likes the, the singing. singing. He see, I mean, has to have singing. We can't watch anything that doesn't have singing. Really? Bubble Guppies, Moana, Trolls. Trolls right now is the hotness. Bubble Guppies. That was Anna my... Kendrick. Mm-hmm. Boy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I had to do some research on her when Steiger went to bed. She's something else. Yeah. Came she, off Broadway. Do you see her in Up in the Air? Oh she's yeah. She's a great actress. Oh, she's ridiculous. Yes. She's, she's a amazing. Great actress. She can sing, dance. I mean, that's a schooled. Thespian. Schooled, man. I mean, she sang Silent Night uh, for uh, well, in front of the president. Been doing it forever. That's that's the Rory McDonald. Rory McDonald's been do, doing MMA since he was 13. Anna Kendrick. She's been she's been taking lessons. I bet you she I bet you I don't know, but I bet you she's from New York, I think, from Manhattan. She's from Manhattan. Maine. Close. She's though. from Maine. OK, yeah, close. Though, I, I will <laughs> promise you that since she was a little kid, she's been in dance and singing class. I'm in, sure in theater. that yeah. talent. Oh, yeah. It was silly. Yeah, you can see it every time. And then what I like to do is when he goes to bed, <clears throat> just to see what's going on, because I know I'm going to be watching him more, I go uh, Google behind the scenes. So I watched Trolls with uh, Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake like doing the voiceovers, mm-hmm. you know, for that. Mm-hmm. And then Moana with The Rock and all them. It's so interesting to me. Yeah, man. That's 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 good money. They know our, gotta be good. for them. You gotta be really think. That's what I was thinking. Think how many people. Well, Dwayne Johnson. I mean, he can. You gotta, sing you gotta, but you also have to have a, like a unique voice, a certain yeah, way. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. And it's acting. It's real acting. Oh, for sure. And a lot of times you're doing it not off of somebody. You're doing the lines separate. Yeah, like the Rock and the girl, the main girl in it, uh, Moana. They didn't mm-hmm. meet till it was like over. So like weird. you're not in the same room, no. going back and forth. So you're just doing, you know, it sucks. And then with Trolls, you know, our boy Skylar <laughs> Aston is. Uh, they're doing a series on Netflix, and he's the voice now of what Justin Timberlake was right. in the movie. Right, as well he should be, with his voice. Better fucking sing, Aston. Um, man, yeah, they uh, kids will watch that shit over and over and over again. And then they get older, and then they just want new. Well, I'd prefer new right now. Yeah. I know Trolls like the back of my hand. I know every song, every Moana song. I mean, I'll do it for him. I will do it for him at night before I put him to bed. I will sing the Moana songs. <laughs> my God, God. Here, guys. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. I went to the gym yesterday because uh, Thursday, I can't work out. You know, I like to work out every day, so I know Thursday I won't be able to work out. So I went to the gym yesterday on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Worked out the long, probably two hours. I, you know me, I never do that stuff. And then I, then today I am, I worked out today with Glenn. Pooped. Glenn was out. A little pooped. Just drained. Yeah. Just drained. I'll nap up, man. That's why I'll nap. The other day, I can't believe you can nap with kids. Saturday took two naps. How about that? Put on a movie and I took a little nappy poo. Then about four hours later, I was like, "Mm, didn't, didn't, just don't feel the quickening. It's called a quickening. Got to feel an energy, a pop. Nope. Got to lie down again. Took another 10 minutes. I'm jealous, man. I took a 10 minute nap. And then I woke up and I was like, I feel refreshed. God bless Amanda, because that is not happening at the Shab household. There's, I'm up at 5 45 yeah, a.m. every morning. He's young right now. We have to end the, there's, he has to wait till I make my coffee. Then we go outside, go on our walk. And there's this dude, hopefully, well, you know what? I don't give a fuck if you listen to the show. <laughs> Walking him. Older guy he goes, ah, I see you every morning walk. Older, hairy gentleman. He goes, oh, I see you walking your son every morning. Uh, you know, I, I live right there. I can stare out my window. I'm like, ah, that's a little creepy, whatever. I'm like, very cool, man. Have a good good day. Keep going. He goes, you're cute. And <laughs> you're then I cute? go, no, I know. He's ridiculously cute. We get it all the time. He goes, you. Hey. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm walking my kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm clearly not gay. I got a son here. You're cute. You cute, and I That's went. That's creepy. I went. No doubt, he is as cute as it gets. And then he goes, "You, ah, oh, dude, hey, man, I got my fucking kid here." I and Tiger was holding this like train that he likes to push. I just went, "Let's get all right, let's go, man." Let's what go. Are you... And then I had to give Tiger. I went, "That is You're a gay cute. man. That is a gay. There's nothing wrong with that. That's that not is a gay man. That That's a, a creepy that is a man. Gay, creepy man. 
we're going to change up our route yeah, you daddy. so dad doesn't go on a walk with his son and a dick suck. Yeah. We're going to get going. You're cute. You, uh, but real lazy, he's cute. He's got a gun pressed against it. He's like, hey, come he's over. Cute. Here. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Then you know he's a pedophile. I've had, I've had, you, you know he's weird because he had the match in like Russell Athletic, blue, navy blue, and bottom matching. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I have to tell you, the, like last time you saw someone wearing that shit, unless you're in a like a no. private gym class in school, you don't have to wear that. Dude. The matching sweats. When's the last time you saw a grown adult wearing matching sweats? You dick diver. You're, well, you're either you're either a gangster, you're either a, a, a mafia don. They don't do it or, anymore. Or they don't even yeah. do it anymore. And they would usually <clears throat> wear the Adidas suits at yeah, least, or the Fila suits. No, this fuck had on grungy old Russell Athletic navy blue top, matching bottoms. <laughs> mm. Was he black? And some nope. No. How dare you? <laughs> no. Why is he black, some, bro? Usually some saying. white guy. No, he's white as fuck. Come on, Jim. Yeah, my neighborhood. A white hey, guy. My neighborhood. Come on, Jim. Isn't it funny how ethnic profiling? He better be. Well, I'm, I'm afraid of the white guy. Um, well, so what, uh, for I was, sure. If, I was, when it uh, comes to kids and trying to uh, suck yeah. my dick. I was. Wa- I was of course, walking, he's white. I was walking my dog in Chelsea one time. I was a young man. I was probably in my twenties and cute. And uh, it was the morning, and I was. Uh, I had my pit bull there, and a guy comes up, and he's like, uh, "Nice dog, man." And he, and I noticed he was wearing sweatpants. You know the kind of the, the cloth sweatpants, and you can see a man's dick. I can see his dong, and uh, uh, I can see the outline of his dong. And I was like, "All right, for like there's some nope, blood." No, not flow? yet, not yet. He was just a kind of. Oh, he was boy. just sitting there, you know, just sitting. Maybe, maybe there was definitely some blood flow, but I couldn't tell. It was a hot day, so uh, he's like, uh, "Yeah, man, you got a dog, huh? I bet you good with that dog." And I was like, "And I was, I'm like, all right." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." And his hair was a little. I was like, all right, this guy's just a little off. And he's like, yeah, man. You, you've been up? You, you wake up you early, Roger? And I go, oh, not, not, not usually, bro. Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm already now, braced now up. The, now I'm braced Now up. the spidey senses are like, yeah, oh, also, also, he's trying to fuck. Yeah, and also don't, trying to fuck or murder Yeah, you. and don't, don't fucking try to bulldog me and alpha me, man, because I'll fuck you. Don't fuck yeah. you. Know, now you know me. I'm insecure. Yeah, yeah. And I get macho, yeah. so I'm like. And you got a pit bull with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and this guy's a little bigger than me, too, so I'm, I'm already like, all right. So he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, yeah, man. You got kids? And I go, no. He goes, what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> so I can't get I go, no. He goes, what you waiting for, man? I bet you got You got some good kids, man. You got some good what kids. What the? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And he goes, he goes, I bet you have some good kids, man. I'm looking at you right now. You're going to have some good looking kids. Now I look down and he's just. Ten hut? Well, he's not ten hut, but just the. The back of his dong because it's bent over. You understand? Oh, it's pressing oh, hard. Oh, he had that spider monkey tail. Yep, yep. He had that. T- it was bent down. <laughs> yeah, was, I know you're talking about. It was pressing just so way. Spider monkey tails don't go straight. Uh-uh. They go kind of and gonzo. He was trying to impress me. They go gonzo. It. Yep. He had a gonzo nose he and had, a sweat. He had a gonzo. He had nose. the gonzo nose sweats. He had gonzo nose sweats. That's a great. That's a great way to put it. And he's gonzo nosing me right now. He's gonzo nosing. Oh, God. Me. And then he reaches it's down. The, I'd rather have it full erect. Oh God. It's he's, creepy when it's lazy, gonzo. A lazy, heavy gonzo nose. And he reaches down and just kind of adjusts his nose. Oh nuts. man. He goes, he goes, you gonna be here long? You hanging out? What are you doing? I go, no. I'm man, leaving, I get sir. The fuck out of here, bro. How strange is that? See ya. Like well, I called you after. I don't know if you remember this. I was uh, <laughs> going on a run. I ran up. Uh, down Santa Monica, right where it's almost on the the hill there, where it de- looks down on the beach. Mm-hmm. I'm running there, this guy with this giant German Shepherd, and again, dude was in sweats. Watch fucking people in sweats, <laughs> and he goes, "Hey, looking for a dog, man?" And this is what at the time when I was, I went, "Yeah, I actually am." And it was like this big ass German Shepherd. He goes, "Yeah, I can always tell." And I'm like, "God, that's strange." We start talking back and forth, and he's like. Just you like you like to run a lot. I'm like, yeah, I'll run a little bit. Yeah, how many miles do you usually do? You look like you do some miles. I'm like, yeah, for sure. Uh, anyways, and he starts going. And he goes, yeah, I, I know Mark Coleman. I'm like, no doubt. That's cool, man. Have a good day. And he's like, yeah, hold on. You, so do you want a you want a dog? I'm like, maybe. You know, I'll, I'll look around. And he goes, yeah, for sure, man. He keeps going similar to Sting. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he wants something. Yeah. And by want something, I'm. My asshole, yeah, 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 or my mouth. Yeah, he wants he wants your mud. Whistle. He wants something while his dog like sits in the corner and watches. Yeah, he wants your mud and then whistle. I just go. He goes, "You live around here, man." I go, "Nah, I, I ran far, man. I'm I'm back that way." So how I could tell my my dick sensor went off. I'm like, yeah. "Oh no, see yeah. you, dick sensor. Yeah, see you, man." And I go to leave, and he goes, "Bro, let me get your number." That's so interesting. Let me get your see, number. Guys who are aggressive. Like no, that. I did. I don't want to hurt his feelings. I go. 
Yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh. And I gave him the first part of my number and then switch up the whole back. Yeah. And then he goes, I'm going to call you right now just so you have mine. And I go, ah, just text me, man. It'll, I'll, I'm sure I got it because he wanted me to get my phone out. Dude, you know, that's a guy who Relentless. Fucks, that's a guy who fucks, dude. See, there are certain guys that that want to get banged, and those guys are way less aggressive. It's the dudes that 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 are going to fuck you. Like, I was in. Bro, he had oh, a German God. shepherd that was from the Game of Thrones. I don't know if you saw the shirt today. Yeah. From the Game of Thrones. He had one of those big wolves, the, the giant ones. Yeah. Him and that giant Game of Thrones... German Shepherd trying to fuck. Yeah, that's in a, Santa Monica. Well, that's a dog that he could sick on you if you don't. If you don't. That's why I give him my him. fake number. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, man, let me get your number. I went. Yeah, I'll see why not. You're big, dark, and seven thick. two. You big, three. brown, and thick. He's trying to fuck. He wanted that back. He wanted. A- how about how about? And I I sent Delia and Brian this. I got this. I oh, snapshot. This dude slid in my DMs and he yeah. goes, "Damn, you fine." <laughs> that's like six months ago, three months ago. Yo, man, you should post a picture with your pants off. I obviously don't allow these or see them. Yeah. Then yesterday, yo, I would suck you dry. You should let me suck your dick. So I snapshot that sent to Lee and Brian go, ah, what do you guys think? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I was like, no, I'll suck you dry. God damn it. Yeah, those are aggressive dudes, man. Those are aggressive dudes. There's something about like I was at Cole's gym and I was uh, doing Mad TV, and I'm uh, the one on Cole, which is basically a gay bar with uh, like freeway, which one, which gold, uh, the one on Cole. It used to be like you'd see two just roided up. There's no one a... They were dressed in camo, and one dude would be <laughs> sitting on the other one's hips as he's doing calf raises. Yeah. I mean, they were spotting each other. Sure. It was guys with pierced nipples and just Get great it, tank tops. It was fantastic. <laughs> It was just shaved chest's oil. It smelled like coconut. Everybody was orange. Fantastic. They're trying to fuck you? Oh, good looking girls. Well, I w- no. You know, the truth is they you weren't. You thought everyone they was. They weren't trying to fuck me because they, uh, they, they were they were so muscular. Frank Grillo used to work out there. It was when Frank was sure 200 pounds. And they, so it was all like models and Are you actors. and Frank the hot girl in the gym? Because there's, I used Not to work, me, when I used to work at Gold's, even at Boxing Marine, you know, they're a good looking girl. She's like, okay, let's relax, everyone. I'm like, yeah, no one's trying to fuck you. Relax. Yeah. Well, you you are when you walk in, you know, gay men are gonna. Uh, me, we, even back then, I was a little skinny. They, they they were other guys, but this guy took a shine to me as I'm doing my my fucking uh, uh, tricep push down. Somebody told the me ladies, to do. as they say from Shawshank, the ladies took a liking to you. Yeah. You're Andy Dufresne. Yeah, when you well, go to Gold, you're late. I'm not even trying to be shitty. I know yeah. you, you think you're muscular and all that. I'm nothing. You, when you walk into Golds, I'm nothing. Yandy Dufresne. I stopped working out and I, there. And I'm red. That. I'm red. Yandy Dufresne. 100%. No one's fucking with red. No. But Yandy uh, Dufresne. I'm, I'm meat. And I, like, I'd like to say you fought them boys off all the time. Sometimes. 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 Because guess what? I wasn't fucking with these guys. They, you're 100% right. As I'm doing my pull downs, a guy gets, gets right behind me, <gasps> bumps my knees with his knees. He goes, get your knees down. <laughs> And he goes, get those elbows in here. And I go, huh? Huh? Wh- what? As I could feel his his breath on my neck. He goes, Protein. come on, come on, give me one more. And I'm like, this is very fucking weird. My triceps are fucking burning and I feel weird as his knees are bumping on my knees. And he's like, uh, technique, <laughs> Dude, I, I, technique. Brother. I told technique. you when I, this, uh, when I was in Denver at this train, I I assumed he liked the way the dick tastes. Yeah. And uh, we were doing something. And I was like, God, I think. And then he goes, <clears throat> he goes, you ever done weighted pull-ups? Like, yeah, all the time, man. I love those. He goes, you, you ever done like dynamic weighted pull-ups? I'm like, oh, I mean, as dynamic as you can get with a pa- uh, you know, weight around your uh, waist hanging down. He goes, nah, I got something for you. Go ahead and crouch down. And he gets like we're playing fucking chicken in the pool yeah. on top of my shoulders, dick on the back of my neck, Gonzo nose on the back of my neck. God damn while it! While I'm doing pull, what are you doing, and bro? They, they don't make sense. No, because I would pull and he would lift up like this. Yeah, and just this fat nut sack on the oh, back of my God. neck. I could. It was, he was like jacking off yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, of course he was. He was pressing against your thick. Fucking Denver neck. Come on, ten more, ten more, ten oh, more, ten more. Oh, my Gonzo nose. Ten more. My Gonzo nose. Get burrows, your burrows in the valley your, of your neck. Get your fucking healthy dick <laughs> off of my neck. You super healthy. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when somebody gets on your shoulders. Can I get you? Want to do dynamic pull-ups? Guys will come up with the fucking most dynamic? ridiculous shit. In the you world. mean put your dick on the back of my neck yeah. while I do pull-ups? Yeah. All right. Well, not really, because you're just doing muscle-ups, and then I'm right. just doing the movement, and you're right. fuck. You fuck. You're fucking the folds of my neck. That's, That's what's exactly going on. Exactly what's going on. You just fucked my neck. Yeah. And, That's I, like and every, I paid you for this private Every session. woman will tell you that on the subway in New York City. Every single woman. There's always a guy who's like, whoops, it's crowded in here. Gang. Gonzo. Sorry, I got to put my push my dog Gonzo on, on your yep. beard. Oop, I'm brushing your tits. I text Rogan. I meant to send you this text, too. I text Rogan this yesterday. There's this guy who I see in the gym. Hopefully, I mean, he's homeless, so hopefully. Well, if he does on his podcast, shout out to this guy. He's crazy. I've seen a lot of freaks in my lifetime through sports. I ain't never seen someone like this French homeless guy. I catch him in the gym once every three months. This is at boxing room? He's just in the weight room. And he comes in, oh, he lifts boy. in jeans and a sweat and a rolled up cut off sweatshirt. Oh, boy. Like he's from fucking sure. pumping iron. Sure. Arnold. Serial and, killer. In yeah. long hair, French. Mm-hmm. And just he's fucking jacked. Mm-hmm. Probably doesn't eat many meals, but mm-hmm. just genetics. Mm-hmm. And he talks to himself in a whole he has this French accent, so it makes him even creepier. And he's so goddamn strong. And I would just stare at him. I actually wanted one of the so he's uh, crazy strong? I wanted one of the things he was using, one of the, the these things to do these pull ups, but I was too scared to ask him because he was gonna bite me or rip my face off. But he, he gets on the bench and he just goes, Oh yes, 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 we, 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 we oh you want you wanna stop? You wanna stop? No, no, you're not stop. You're not stop. Oh, it burning now? It burning? It burning. They want you to stop. You ain't stopping. You ain't stopping. Ain't stop. You got 20 more. You got 20 more. You got 20 more. He's talking yes. to himself? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Shit. Yes, then he drops it and he'll go, yes, it's, 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 it's what you want to do. It's what you want to do. You hear this? what you want to do. You do this. He's schizophrenic. You do this. You want to do this. He's talking to and himself. And he goes, yeah, and then he, but he, it's like he's just in there by himself. Yeah. Then he'll go, let's go heavier. We go heavier. You want to go heavier? He's having this conversation wow. with himself. And then he goes, what's the heaviest? You live heavy. Grabs the, I don't know where he found him because I'm always looking for heavier weights. Goes those and goes, all right, this is what we do now. This is what we Damn. do now. And then he'll do that. And then he went to cable. And I, meanwhile, I pretend I'm working out, but I have my headphone <coughs> of course you not do. working. Just sti- of listening course to him. Of course you do. Just cause, cause, and then he also has his entire belongings with him in a, in a rollaway bag. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's obviously not all there. He gets on the crossover machine and he's going, hey. And he's crazy strong, though? Stupid strong. Really? Way stronger than me. What? Way stronger That's than very me. dangerous. No diet, no, just what? Really? He gets done and goes, yes, yes, yes. Well, a big guy, then. A, yeah. big, a big, giant guy. Huh? Yeah. He looks like uh, Shane Carr when I had a baby in France. Well, that's very he's scary. fucking huge. When a guy's that But not, like, strong, shredded. Just, just like... He looks like the juggernaut from X Men, but French as fuck. That is that wee, is wee, wee, scary. Wee. And then he takes out this comb out of his pocket that he sat in the whole time yeah. in his jeans, yeah. in his goddamn jeans that he works out in. No belt, just keeps pulling his pants up. And then he'll then he gets done. I see him just staring out the window, and he has long hair, longer than mine. Nice hair, nice. Set Good of hair. looking guy. How old? He looks like a mad scientist, but how, Jack. How old? Must be fifty, all gray hair. Wow! Think of Einstein if he was on a crazy Deca like cycle. He looks like I Einstein got a story for day. you. And so then he just he's staring at the traffic and he has his comb and just going yes, yes. So and I asked and I asked Tony. I go, dude, that guy's he's not, he's nice. Like he doesn't bother anyone. He just comes in there and fucking puts in work. What excuse do you have not to train? He's homeless. Doing work, God. no protein powder, no fucking alpha just brain, crazy just fucking monster. Steroids? No, he's homeless. Yeah, the fuck did not? No, he's just this big freak. Jesus. And then so he just combs his hair to be that big, and then dips and that out. Strong and also crazy is very I, scary. And I asked Tony, I go, dude, and he goes, he somehow gets the money together to come in here and pay for the. You, you might know, have somebody taking care of him. You know, sometimes he has, like all that his, he, has, he has like this one luggage with him. I just, yeah. he's fascinating. I'd like to talk to him. But like I said, I'm scared he's going to, A, bite me with his horrible French teeth and rip a part of my neck off. Yeah. Or just he's so goddamn juggernaut strong. So I'm like, huh? What's you say? Douche! Face off. Yeah, takes your face off. Life over. That's so weird. Uh, you because you Because he might have the strength of a chimpanzee. 
I'm telling you, what do you see this guy? Tu es très fort, hein? Très, the, the, vraiment très, très fort. Yeah, you need to talk to him. But the thing is, is for him, I, I don't know if it, if anyone works out, imagine doing a set of 20 with the heaviest dumbbells you can do for 20 and talking the entire time. So going, interesting. Yes, yes, so yes. So interesting. Yes, oh, they want you to stop. There's no stopping. There's no, oh, it burns, it burns, yes, it burns. Wow. It's fascinating. Wow. I want to put it on my camera, but I didn't want to, like, it's, it's, privacy yeah. like i'm not making fun of them no i'm celebrating this fucking yeah. genetic freak from france who's clearly he's yeah. either crazy or he's just awesome maybe he's awesome yeah there's just sometimes people I, like have... i want to be friends with him because yeah. he was using something i, I wanted to use hmm. but i'm like god man what yeah. if he's like like just flies off the handles on me what usually the fuck i don't know i'm much... there by myself yeah, I think that people and what's he having that bad? like that are, are generally hopefully harmless. They're just they're just. Uh, I, I think he's harmless. Yeah, I don't want to be the guy that triggers him. No, no, it's a little scary. That's scary. You know, even a small person if they're but he's not in their right mind. Yeah. He's fascinating. I see him in there once every few months. Tony goes, yeah, he cut, no problems. Comes in, does work, dips out, doesn't talk to anyone. Hmm. Man, I'd love to talk to him just see what his story. Yeah, is. you just wanna... he, it, it, and he has glasses. Sometimes he, they can be really like a lucid. smart dude. Yeah, and the, the speech that like some of the conversations I have, you know, with himself, it's pretty interesting. Like, yeah. good vocabulary. Like, not a dumb, like not like a big Green Mile type of dumbass. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he's not like a moron. There's a there's a guy like that in my neighborhood. He he's not like the giant guy from Game of Thrones watching over that kid. There's a woman in my neighborhood who uh, I walked by her. I was walking my dogs. She was in a um, uh, like a Toyota or something or a Honda Civic, and uh, she's like looking down, and I'm like, "What's she doing?" I'm like she's looking down like really intensely, and I walk and I go, I walk by and I go. That's weird. So I come back. She's still looking down. And I go, oh, she's nodding off. She fell asleep? No, she was like, and I look at her hand. Oh, she's an addict. She's, 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 got she's eyes doing cat. heroin, yeah. I feel real good. And now I see her periodically. She'll park her car like certain areas in the neighborhood. And she's just. She's in your just, neighborhood? Yeah. And she's just. Your neighborhood? And then I saw her the other day. Uh like getting high I, she had all the stuff with her and it was just like and then she just kind of went Shh. yeah she i didn't like see her shooting i saw they're usually pretty spoon. good about hiding that. yeah but i saw her kind of at the tail end and she was just like and i was like oh this what is are a, you doing this, this is situation? a terrible she's in her car let her get high don't yeah, be a fucking hater say anything, no. hey, let her get high yeah. don't be a hater i'm not gonna call not the if, cops. It's around, if it's around the school i'm gonna call the cops well, it's around a neighborhood. It is near a school. It's actually you're right three by blocks, a school. It's three blocks away. From well, three school. blocks. Yeah, but like there, there, there's this weird like schizophrenic <clears throat> bum who was sleeping outside because uh, I live across from an elementary school, uh, kindergarten elementary, and it was like half an hour before the kids start because I walked my son around there, and he was just like you know fucking with the things. Yeah, I had to tell someone. I had to tell the cops up the street. Got to get them. You can't have kids around that who knows what the fuck yeah i'm do. I'm always worried about a guy in a fucking van driving around or something like that what i don't know if doing? they still do vans around, i don't know bro. if vans are the, like we yeah. we have the misconception that vans are still the creepy guys trying to fuck kids yeah i don't think they're in vans anymore because the gig's up the gig's up yeah. like no one's looking for a 88 van yeah. you know like chevy van anymore no, you never we all know, know what right? the serial killers fucks yeah. with yeah like who knows what they're in now they have a lot of different Probably techniques teslas. they got a lot of different techniques they're well teslas. well teslas that's, um, this horrible transition, especially after talking about horrible people. But yeah. how about Ralphie May passing away? Yeah, Ralphie. Such a shame. Ralphie was a, a, a delicate man. He was a really sweet, sweet guy, and a, a huge s- fan of comedy, and a huge fan of his uh, of his colleagues and, and people. Yeah, like uh, the the and what's funny? Not funny at all. I don't. That was a bad use of words. But um, Jay texted me. He goes, "Man, how about Ralphie May?" And Jay remembers him because. When we were go- doing the um, Austin Comedy Festival, the mm-hmm. Moon Tower Festival, um, before I went on, Jay had a long conversation with him. We were on the same plane with him. Yeah, we were yeah. on the same plane. But then when we were out there, uh, I did a show, and uh, he was, you know, obviously the headliner. And he was a guy who was super. I, I don't, I don't know Ralphie really. We had some conversations, but he was always super supportive of me, which in the comedy world. A lot of people are supportive, but then a lot of people are like, yeah. fuck that guy. And Ralphie wasn't like, fuck yeah. that guy. No, not at all. So when I saw him, like, oh, fuck. fuck. He was going to come a, do the podcast. What a and shame, just, man. Yeah. We, well, I, and, I, and I hate to say this, and I, I don't mean it in any way, but I knew this was coming. 
you know, um, it was only getting worse. Unfortunately, everyone that uh, knows him really well, it was just only getting worse. All the people I went, man, fucking, how about Ralphie? And people were like, man, kind of saw this one coming. Yeah, everybody saw it coming. You know, it was it was just well um, the thing I uh, so talented, that was troublesome. The, such a good guy. What's troublesome is obviously he has two kids, two yeah. daughters, which that fucking sucks. But the yeah. thing is, uh, probably a few months ago, I was at the Laugh Factory before I went on. I went, oh, how is it? And then went Ralphie fell asleep on stage yeah. or something like that, yeah. nodded off on stage. Yeah, I think he. I think there were there were there was medi- medication involved. He he was a guy who was it's such a always shame, man. dealing with that problem too. Such a such a shame. Yeah, man. Uh, but 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 left left uh, left behind a lot of great comedy and everybody liked him and he was always really nice to everybody. Yeah, I've heard a bad and thing about He was so encouraging to everybody. He was just a really beautiful guy. And I uh yeah, and, and Mark uh, Marin just uh released his podcast he did with Ralphie May like I think from 2012 it's pretty cool to listen to yeah. he just came to LA you know he won last comic stand I think in 2010 it's pretty cool to listen to I remember Ralphie though doing uh, god I think it was Dublin's probably 12 years ago Ralphie was a young guy doing stand up and killing it back then they say he moved out here and I think he was sleeping on Jay Moore's floor he was like probably. 17 or 18 yeah I remember I remember literally probably 15 years ago Ralphie was, was, was killing crowds I mean he was funny as shit monster yeah Monster. I remember watching his specials. Yeah. Super Monster. Always funny. Always great. Always working. Always touring. I know? just started listening to Mark Marin again. I kind of fell off and went back to it because he had uh, that Davidson from Saturday Night Live. Yeah, Tommy Davidson. Uh, uh, no, from... no, no, no. That's a black guy from uh, In Living Color. Color yeah. This is Davidson. Um, he's on Saturday Night Live. He was a comic. He got the gig uh, by doing stand up. He's like, I don't, I don't, I don't do characters. I don't do any sketch. But his comedy was so good. Uh, you know, Lauren Michaels gave him a show on Saturday Night Live. Right. And he's so young, he was saying how he didn't know what the show was. He wow. goes, I, I knew it from YouTube. He goes, I knew from, uh, I think he's 24 or something. That's amazing. Like that. That. But he goes, he goes, I knew uh, sketches Will Ferrell did, yeah. but I didn't, I just thought they were Will, yeah, Pete Davidson. He goes, I just knew it as, uh, I thought it was Will Ferrell bits. I didn't know it was on Saturday Night Live. So, so but I did, I did my research. Anyways, made up getting the show. And he talks about uh, on Mark Mann how he struggles with horrible depression, mm-hmm. like awful depression, and um, that's what brought me back to Mark Mann. But then I like more of the Pete Davidson guy. He's fascinating, man. I saw him around the uh, comedy store a few times. Yeah. And but what's funny is um, with his de- depression, I think it's good when people speak on it because I think so many people are going through it. When someone like this says says they struggle with it, sure. Because on Saturday Night Live, they did a, a bit about it, and it's because it. When him going on Mark Maron going, last year was the worst year of my life, even though you think you'd be killing it. He goes, yeah. worst year of my life. My girlfriend, get how she puts up with me, all this stuff. And so obviously it's in the headlines, all that stuff. So Saturday Night Live this this past Saturday, they did a bit where he, he he's dead honest about uh, depression. Because, you know, you should probably see a doctor. Uh, <laughs> he goes, you see a doctor, uh, and they might be able to help you with medication. And, you know, and the other thing is, is if uh, your cast member on Saturday Night Live play my goddamn sketches more often that could bring happiness and the guy's like well yeah man it's tough because i know but it's like an eight hour show there's 50 segments you could do a sum just to help my sanity <laughs> it's funny it's so true yeah it's funny how they flip it right? fucking awesome yeah i don't know i, I don't know it's awesome yeah, the, the, that mental health stuff is rough. hell yeah it is it's real so his, his dad died in september 11th so he has an issue. Right. Have I talked That's about this right. before? I don't know. No, I knew there so was So he guy. has an issue where, <clears throat> so his dad, right, he was a firefighter, he goes, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Goes September, dies. So now he struggles with whenever <clears throat> someone goes, I'll be right back, whether it's a friend, girlfriend, he obviously, that's wired Triggers in. Where he's, Fuck. So he's dealing with that. I can't imagine. Yeah. There's a there's a book that everybody should read called uh, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. Tom Hanks turned it into a movie, written by uh, I think Jonathan Safran Foer, who's a genius. Wrote it when he was 28 years old, and uh, one of the things is about a 12 year old boy. I think he's even younger, but who loses his dad in 9 11. It is a phenomenal book. Fuck yeah, the movie. I mean, it's I didn't see the movie. I just the yeah. book is like a masterpiece, mm-hmm. a fucking masterpiece. Kids young too, twenty three years old. Jesus, on Saturday Christ. Night Live. This Keep is like waiting. the third season too. I would say that's impressive. Crazy, right? That's a talented dude. And they were talking about wow. They're they're asking him to do sketches. He's like, I I just I can't do them. I don't know. What, <laughs> he goes, I don't know what to do. Well, it's a technique. He goes, I just have to. He goes, yeah. I can do myself. Yeah. He goes, they ask me. They go, you look just like this guy. Try it. And he goes, well, that's Pete Davidson 
trying to do this. He goes, I don't know what to tell you. I, yeah. It was just not for me. Ske- well, sketch is, 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 it takes a long time because it's just acting. The, the, every one of those sketch guys is, a, is an actor. I mean, they studied it for a long time. Not easy, man. And it's actually a lot of the great sketch comedians are in their 30s. It takes a long time. So Some people are good at it, you know, just off like they have a knack for yeah. something. Yeah, characters, from, doing characters. Yeah, but some people, it's just not your thing. Yeah. For him, yeah. he talks about it. He goes, no, it's not, my, it's not what I do. It's not why I'm on the show. For now, anyway, he's 20 fucking three. Things might change, believe me. You know? You'll get a handle on shit, I hope. Yeah, it was interesting. He came out and uh, talked about his depression, though. You never think. You know, I don't know. You know, this Kelly Brogan did, uh, she's a, a psychiatrist that deals with the worst cases, like people that scratch holes in their face. Yeah. I got this thing in my face, and they just keep scratching me. She deals with that. And she wrote a book called A Mind of Her Own that my wife read. And, uh, and in, if you listen to her on Rogan, she was one of these I thought women. you said her name was Kelly Brogan. Kelly Brogan. On Rogan. Yeah. Kelly Brogan. Kelly Brogan, Brogan Rogan. featured yeah. on Rogan. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Kelly Brogan on Rogan. And she, uh, she would always deal with the worst cases. But what she would deal with is because she was a doctor, she would prescribe certain medications because that's what you did. You, you just look at somebody and go, you, you haven't. You're taking birth control pills? Okay. That means that you're messing with your hormones. You should take some antidepressants as well because it'll fuck with your head. Uh, you're taking, you have whatever it is, and she'd get these hardcore cases. We'll put you on this, that, and the other thing. Then she started to realize, hold on. You know, there are a lot of factors that contribute to depression. Like, you could have a messed up thyroid for whatever reason. Could even be the way you're eating and exercising, not sleeping enough. There are a lot of reasons. And severe your thyroid, depression is a little different. Yeah. Yes, of course it is. Some people are born. She with deals it. with severe depression. So yeah. we have, but by the way, this is one person's account. So you're right. You have to take this. You have to be careful. But, but one of the things that she's found is that she's gotten a lot of traction and a lot of the, uh, you know, helped a lot of people with very serious depression, without a lot of these drugs. Diet and exercise. Diet, exercise, uh, sleep patterns, circadian rhythm, all this kind of so, stuff. And then that, some that of it's an ignored. illness. Some of it's a, the, the stuff she's talking about, but then the, yes. some of it's a straight up illness. I think it's an illness. It's like, got to be, right? I mean, It depends yeah. for some people, but also for some people. We don't know a lot about it. it mm, seems, they know a you know? good amount, but for some people, it's like, well, you have a shitty job. Your girlfriend cheated on you. Yeah. Are you losing your kids? You're going to be depressed, man. Yeah. You're not clinically depressed. You're just... Yeah. You're sad. It's yeah. normal. People go through it. But then, like, look Pete at Chris Davidson, Cornell. He had a whole life. At, like, everything was great. And then he still killed himself. Like, Th- like Pete Davidson talks about it. He goes, you know, and he's met with a lot of people. He goes, I didn't know what it was. He goes, I was born. I've always been. I was born like yes. this, man. Yes, my serotonin father, levels. Yes, my father passed away. Right. I was genetically born like That's this. Right. A lot of people are. Your serotonin levels can be at, for me, they're probably between a 7 and a 10. I'm just lucky. I'm always, I have good chemicals running through my brain and I feel generally positive. There are people and I know them and they're talented or whatever, both but know. they just have, their serotonin levels are usually at a four or a five or, you know, if you could measure it. I mean, they're just, even if they win the lottery and they cure, you know, every disease in the world, they're still going to be, they're, they're, you know what's weird they're going back to in that. In entertainment, people go, I got to have some sort of that darkness or stuff like that mm-hmm. to be creative. Yeah. And you know how when I first started going in this, I thought the yeah. same thing. Yeah. But when I thought about it, I thought, well, is it just that there's not a huge pool to take from? Because there's a lot of people with depression stuff who aren't creative. Yes. And then there's a lot of people who don't have any creative, but they're actually successful yes. too. But you're sampling from a pool. Yeah. Not everyone's fucked up. There are a lot of very creative people. There are a lot of creative people out there. Some not are, all are some depressed. Are, some are not depressed at all. And some, you know, dev- basically produce a lot of stuff throughout their lifetime. Then there are people that are very creative and happen to also suffer from depression. Yes. Just like there are very creative musicians. I don't think you can link them. No. There are very creative musician, musicians. And some go on to create huge bodies of work like the Beatles, like uh, Zeppelin, like uh, Springsteen, like U2. I and mean, we can just keep going on and on. Who don't, who didn't succumb to drugs. They might have done a couple. They might yeah. smoke weed. But for the most might have gone through a phase. But for the most part, kept it wasn't producing. Thing. They didn't do drugs. It wasn't like they a Nirvana sober, thing. Right. Yeah. And then there are really talented people that also have substance, uh, very talented Amy Winehouse. Who has substance abuse problems. Yeah. Amy Winehouse, but, the, according but, to people but, who knew her, said that she was she was somebody who suffered from mental illness and was also prodigiously talented. And she probably would have been that way regardless of the music. The music didn't make her crazy. She was, nor she did, nor did her crazy make her that weird creative. She family, yeah, and she was just She just suffered death. from mental illness. Yeah. Right? I mean, and we don't yet know 
the details of what mental illness is. There are lots of theories. Have you ever taken any of that, like Zoloft or any I of that stuff? I haven't because I've never had Have to. you guys fucked with it, MJ? Nothing? I have family Chin? that have. Yeah, me too. And they swear by it. Chin, do you, or you don't take any. Sub- I take natural stuff. But you don't take any subscriptions or anything like that? Uh, Prescriptions, I sorry. Take, like blood pressure stuff. Yeah, high blood pressure. While. I think it's in my family. Yeah. So I, I did, high but blood then pressure. I don't really do you it do? religiously. You do have? Mm hmm. Mm. Interesting. You, you don't, don't you don't take anything, MJ. You're young as shit. Get on that micro. She's like just a little black tar every now and then. A little black tar heroin. No, I did um uh birth control. I've been like starting that this year. Um but it's in like totally fucking up my hormones for yes. sure. And then my You taking friend, a pill or did you do a patch? Pill, you... Um just because of like it wasn't even for yeah. Um I hear it's you. just the this the pill. Um just to, like level out my hormones because it was irregular and I know it's kinda of, like TMI. But uh, no. my girlfriend, she's taking birth control, and she was taking um, depression meds, and she was, like, high and low. Like, she'd be, like, up here happy, and then all of a sudden she'd be, like, dark depressed and wouldn't because talk to anyone. Read, read that book, because uh, Kelly Brogan deals with this a lot and talks about it, and yeah. she deals with women, mm-hmm. uh, and she's been practicing medicine for a long time. Also tell I, her to talk to her doctor about yeah. it. Yeah, well, because birth control, too, you have to find the right one. Like, there's different levels with it. Yeah, there's it, certain ones that are fucked with You can't mix other you. things. Well, like, there's certain to, things you can't mix Yeah, and according to Kelly Brogan, there's also a doctor and a medical licensed doctor who mm-hmm. works with it. A lot of doctors just don't know because they're not up on the research. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you do, do, do your own research, too. And, oh, yeah. Because there are doctors that know and there are doctors that don't. Yeah. And it just depends. I would on talk to your doctor, too. It's going to be, you know, yeah. you want to talk to your doctor. No, I mean, like, I'm good now. Like, I'm fine with that. Like, um, but I know, like, a lot of girls are struggling with, like, finding the right birth control and, like, supplements, too. I've heard, like, supplements because I don't know, like, for sure. But I've heard supplements can fuck with, like, your birth control, too. For sure. Yeah. So you they have to can, be careful, I, like, they, vitamins. They can actually avoid them. Yeah. Some people take too many vitamins. Like, I have a lot of hippie friends that are, like, oh, I'm so healthy. I take this, 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 and this. I'm, like, that's way too much, like, at one time for your, yeah, body. your body. Like, you're can't. overdoing it. Yeah. So one of the top surgeons um, in for women's. So for endometrial cancers and mm-hmm. uterine cancers and things, one yeah. of the top surgeons who, in fact, is the guy who uses robotics on women and stuff, he said he, they, they he use, they robotics, use, they use robotics. So now they'll have a they'll have a robot with four hands that'll what? that'll do all the yes. and he's controlling the robots. Yes, yeah, but yeah. it's so precise. Yeah. And um, he believes it's a little off the record, but he says uh, to his patients, "Don't drink kombucha," huh. and the what? And he goes, we haven't done enough of the studies yet, but there's something about the fermentation that causes, that is causing certain cancers in women. Wow. And what? What's going on? He goes, we don't have all the documentation or the measurements yet, but I, as a surgeon, I, as a surgeon, have been doing this for a very long time. Did and you I'm, tell I'm you in this trench- in private, I'm in, in, Yeah. I'm, I'm well, in the trenches. I'm in the trenches. Uh, the, I'm telling you that I think there's a causal link. I, I look, Look, whether it's true or not, I went... That's a scientist. That's a doctor who deals with women all the time. I was like, mm-hmm. what the fuck, man? How about that? And, and you know, part of it is also that I don't know if kombucha is bad for you. I drink it here and there. I don't mm-hmm. know. I like kombucha. But it's pretty interesting that, you know, a lot of times when we're taking, we're taking all these supplements mm-hmm. and we don't quite know how they work with our body and mm-hmm. you're taking a bunch of different things. You better be careful because you're messing with the chemistry of your body. Mm-hmm. So there's there's a way to do it. Yeah, I do it one sure. by one. Like that's I'll add something doing. into my routine and see if it gives me migraines or if it sees it like too nauseous and yeah. then like slowly filter it in. Yeah. But there's definitely a way you can be too healthy. My friend said that you can actually develop a cancer from taking too many supplements too. She works in a bio lab down in San Diego. You can get a lot of problems for sure. Yeah, you hear that. Sure. Kidney you hear stones that. and yeah. stuff. You can get a lot of problems taking supplements. Well, also mm-hmm. when you when people take massive amounts of antioxidants. Mm-hmm. Part, sometimes uh, uh, oxidants are good for you because they also eradicate. I guess they also take out some of the, or they they nullify some of the cancer causing agents, proteins, and things. Mm-hmm. That's 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 another theory. So you you don't want to be taking like somebody who's taking like thirty five hundred milligrams, I think, of vitamin E. Whoa. It's like you know, like a lot. Of, you take a lot of that. It's an antioxidant, right? Yeah. You're taking a lot of. If you're taking a bunch the, of vitamin C. That's the equivalent of that's the equivalent of fifteen hundred almonds. Vitamin C, yeah. Vitamin E. Is vitamin E is can, is that diuretic? Can you like filter that through? Or uh, I don't know. You should I don't, definitely. I don't, D-A- I don't know much. You should be about taking this. that. D A K and E. No. I don't think you're allowed to take too much because you it has to filter. It'll through. clot your blood or yeah. not clot your blood. Like, well, yeah, if you take know. too much C, you will shit your pants. Yeah. Yeah. People do. People take massive quantities of vitamin C. That's that was just shit your pants yeah <laughs> chin you take no supplements uh i told you kratom kratom is that a supplement kratom. i mean like uh to like for recovery or anything i use turmeric 
So I take turmeric every day because it hurts like a good in- anti-inflammatory. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel like I, I when I take it when I go to sleep, I feel like I'm less bloated. If that even makes Tumor sense. Turmeric is an anti inflammatory. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. That's probably it. And then I have that, those blood pressure pills that I take once in a while. But you've never done creatine or protein. I did creatine once. Winstrol. What? I did creatine once, but it didn't do anything for me. Because I didn't lift weights. Yeah, we gotta get you working out. <laughs> the the box burn guys there, I was in there this morning, like, what's up with Chin? Hey, I've been waiting. Come on, man. Let's go. Yeah. By the way, and I wanna warn everybody here. Like, I, I'm going to walk in periodically, and your first instinct is going to go, that guy's core is stupid. And that's because I've been doing core work in the morning. So, Oh, I had a doctor reach out about TRT. He goes, if Brian says one more time, he can't wait to get jacked from TRT. He goes, I'm going to bust. Why, that's why, your why? doctor. Why? He goes, you guys need it. And I know how it works. I just go along with the bits. But TRT is not going to make you jacked. No? No. So what happens, this is the way TRT works, okay, please. So when let's say you get your levels checked, and they're like, you're not but let's say they go it's a legit doctor by the way yeah, yeah. so no, I, I'm, all ears. I'm all ears so when you go to a legit doctor he's gonna say all right your level's at 300 right they're only gonna get you in the normal range okay so so to get jacked yeah you're gonna have to be at plus you know 1400 oh, fit like i gotta detour. jack my okay you gotta, you're gonna have to do <laughs> I gotta steroids. steroids yeah you do a huge amount of yeah, I, that's, but yeah, you're okay. not you might put on some lean muscle or have more energy it might yeah. cut down on your fat a I, little yeah, bit like i need more but energy. you're not gonna get like you're not gonna be fucking i'm not gonna be all jacked up no you, you'd have to take mass amounts he oh, goes dude i that, swear that. to god if you guys say that one more time <laughs> I was like, no, I get how bust. TRT works. It's just, it'd be hilarious. That's so funny. So, so it's not the same. It's because when you a, take like Decker, or Winstrow, or anything like that, yeah. you're talking, you're boosting your test levels to here. Okay, that's, that's where they get bloated, okay. purple skin, right. jacked, put on mass amounts of muscle. Yeah. TRT's just gonna get you so you feel good, and you're at a normal human functional level. I wonder what the female CrossFitters, the professionals, are doing. Put fittest women in the world uh, on for a sec. CrossFit. Because I wonder what they're what they're taking. First of all, they're in sick shape. They're already amazing athletes. But there's no doubt to my to me that there's some anabolics going on. And uh, I don't know. It's weird to, to assume that. Uh, well, no, I'm saying to assume that. I'm not an expert in steroids. I have no yeah. idea. I, I it's tough to know what men take, let alone women. Yeah. And if you listen to uh, that documentary uh, or watch that documentary on uh, Netflix. Or, or the guy who's on Rogan who did the doc about the Russians, yeah. you're going to assume most people are. Yeah. Yeah. Fittest she's woman in the world. She's, a, she's amazing. I'm going to piss so hard. Go she piss. she trains in the Olympics? She, I think she's in, in the Australian Olympic team. And she's such a fucking athlete anyway. She's amazing. She doesn't look like she does. I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I, some I don't, of those I girls, don't think you can assume. Some of those girls are, are so jacked. Hard. Like, she's not a good example. Whoa. Right, that's, yeah, that's a yeah. good example right here. Yeah, that's a good Jeez. example. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, Acts like that. yeah, that's. You don't get a PB. No, buddy, I'm I'm all dry. But thank you, pal. You go piss hard. Hey, you got a little apple bottom in them pants, huh? Yeah. We'll keep rolling, man. Let's just keep rolling and it. talking, man. Do your thing. Like, bring up, bring up uh, Thoris' daughter. Thoris' daughter. T H O R I S. Thoris' daughter. Oh, yeah, right there. She's she there. She is. That's my girl. She was the fittest woman in the world. She's from Iceland. Mm-hmm. Now take a look at her for a second. Keep going though. Just just keep like going through it. Whoa. Yeah, those are Vikings right there. She's beautiful though. Look at how gorgeous. Whoa. Now, wow. now stop. Now, if you're gonna tell me that's <laughs> not anabolics, look at the tummy on her. I mean, she's already a very special specimen and a freak athlete, but. That's clearly anabolics. Uh, you know, you're not, you're not, because if you look at the CrossFit girls before all of this became like a money game, they were uh, very fit and they looked amazing, but they weren't quite this. I mean, the Jeez. stomach muscles are stupid. I mean, come on. It looks ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, that's a different thing. That's, that's, you know, she's already a genetic freak, but mm-hmm. she's getting, she's getting a little help there. But, you know, I have to say, she's a beautiful woman, man. What a badass. Bodybuilders are insane. Yeah. Is it I the find, same as I find women in shape. There's like the classic shy. physique. Yes, you do. The yeah, I like, I like muscular women. What's that, hon? Is it the same as the, like the men's where it's like the classic physique, the, was it the lift? There's different like types or With different... what? With uh, 
with CrossFit? Or? With, uh, no, just CrossFit, but with bodybuilding. And she's like doing Olympic. Looks like she's doing like, some Olympic in the film. Yeah, well, so too. so CrossFit has Olympic lifts in them. They use okay. a lot of barbells and stuff. Okay. She's so painfully thick. Oh, keep that up for, for Brendan. I want him to see. This blurry one? No, the one that we were at <laughs> where we were like, what the fuck? Where she's carrying, where she's doing the farmer's walk, farmer's carry. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Oh my god! She's so, now, now, Brennan, if you want to take a look, this is uh, Annie Thor's daughter, who was was. I'm so I think relieved. She wanted, I missed most. Of I think us she won it twice in a row. Salvating no, over women's country. Yeah, that, that's a thick girl right there. That's a very pretty on the left, and then. The, oh, that's the same girl. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little help. Probably a little help. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Who knows, man? Who knows? You're so into those CrossFit girls. Let's take uh, let's take the diplomatic approach. I am not quite into that. That I'm a little too light in the ass for that. But I'm very happy with CrossFit women and um, the men and the men. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, Jen. What? Yeah. Before we do current events, what's up with Chinder, dog? Oh, speaking of the Chinder shirts, drop this Wednesday along with uh, Certified Dick Diver. Sweet. Oh, uh, what's going on, Chinder? Did you go on a goddamn date? Went on a date. What? Last night. Details. Yeah. How much can I say without getting in She's trouble? very pretty. I'll a say lot. You sent a picture because we, we had a whole. I've sent a video uh, too, guys. We had a whole yeah, thread with all of us on Very it. pretty. Because yeah. I, I, po- I posted a picture of a skeleton sitting on a bench. <laughs> I know. I put this is me waiting for a chin to go on a date. So funny. And then you sent a picture of the girl. And she, first of all, where'd you meet this dimey? Through friends. Really? Yeah. What ethnicity is she? <laughs> This is why I'm getting really a little worried. Vietnamese. She's you know not I mean? Vietnamese. No, no. So that's another thing. She's not. She's, she's not Spanish? the one I told you about before. She's Spanish. What? She what? Latin? She's 100 percent Asian. Okay. Yeah, but, she's uh, Asian for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. But yeah. it, 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 how's that going to give her away? You know how many Asians are in America? God, I, this show is too freaking yeah popular. Well, either way, so she's, either way, she's a she's awesome. We hung out dish. forever. Where'd you go? It was go? like the longest thing, Koreatown. So that should probably give it away. So she's Korean. Uh, that's actually a plus. That, that was her idea to go to Koreatown? Yeah, would it, would it My you, idea. Would it kill you to get her out of Koreatown? Would it kill you to take her down to, uh, <laughs> take her down to Jelena Scopa? or Scopa? Take her down to... Well, but but no. maybe that's where she was comfortable. Koreatown's good because you, you go eat, you drink, and then you go karaoke. Is yeah. that what... That got such an yeah, Asian or, night. Or, Is that what you guys did? We did. So you freaking late. Hold up, Chin. Break this down for mm-hmm. us. This is a big deal on our it's show. Not that big for a deal. you, it, it's sure a huge is. deal. And you look good right. with her. Thank you, man. Yeah, she. I mean, once you let me and Kid talk to her for a little bit. How dare you? Guys. No, well, here's the thing. So uh, Sunday night, you guys decided to do it, not Saturday. Night. No, because I had a wedding. You remember? Yes. So oh, I, I couldn't sing do at it. the yeah. wedding. Yeah, so you said let's do Sunday night. Yeah. And then how did, did you go pick her up at her place? You meet there. How's we this met, going? We met at a place called the Line. Hotel. The line? lion, the line. Oh, the like line. Yeah, you met at the hotel for the hotel. drinks. For drinks, then we went to Coke her up now, a little bit. Do you, uh, Bill Cosby? No. So did you? Um, <laughs> what did you? So you got there, yeah. and then does she listen to the show? What did you guys talk about? No, she doesn't. I don't know if she listens. She she knows she's aware. Do. She's aware because she does follow me on Instagram. So she knows what she, you do. Yeah, she knows of me, and she knows my friends. So. And she has a solid job. She does. She's. I'm. The, I'm, <laughs> I'm a so fan. hard, man. Because I don't. I'm, want a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm oh, a fan. I, yeah. I'm a I'm looking. A I'm a liking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A little surprised. I thought it was photoshopped for a second there. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. at all. No. No. Not you at sent all. a video. A video. You're very crafty. You cracked her up. You made her laugh in the yeah. video. Charming. I didn't do anything. I was just. Chin can laugh. Stone-faced. He can. He can. He can make you laugh. You were stone faced in the video. I oh, just gotcha. And I let her well, you're a serious. Else. You're a serious Asian giant. What were you talking <laughs> about, though, Chin? I mm. feel this is where you struggle. You know what I'm saying? When we're hung know. out. Yeah, dude. We talk yeah. about everything. We, he knows what to talk about. By the way, we're drinking too, so it's. Do you have it's a bunch of drinks? Relaxing. So much. I'm really hung over right now too. But you look. You look it. a little out of it. I have like stains on my shirt. You're wearing the same clothes? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, hold on. Might, no, hold on. It might smell like... You've been out food. all night and you're wearing the same clothes? You didn't go home. What time did you, what time did you rage till Jack? She's a good Jack? girl. She didn't do anything. What time did you rage till Jack? Dude, we actually went... We went... Hey, bro. Man, there's did a that, lot of shit going hey, on right now. Hey, did that Gonzo nose <laughs> first of all, first come of all, out on the couch? No. First of all, his shirt's did open. Not. It's all kinds of open. I'm, free, I'm hot right now. I don't know why. I bet you are hot talking about hot. this. 
Bet Bro, he's are. in the same clothes, been on all night a boozing. Uh-huh. uh-huh. A boozing. Uh-huh. But she's, no, it, nothing happened like that though. No. Did Not you, like uh Can I ask you a question? Did you whisper she didn't, Korean? She in didn't her uh, hang out at my hotel. I'll say that. Oh, well, she, she didn't stay the night. Hold up, you got a hotel room? I did get a hotel room. I had to make it official, dude. Shit. Yeah. You got a hotel room. That place, the line. Dude. So I'm we did go back to the hotel. And then hung out for a while, and then we went to go eat again at like three in the morning. Which Dude, is crazy. I'm it's a long this. night, Chin. <laughs> I'm exhausted so already. Long. But you—that's when you like a girl. When you're willing to go, you're like, she didn't I'm get on your no nerves, sleep and I'm good. No, she's actually cool. Did you guys eat Korean barbecue? I assume. Uh, very close Korean food, but there Chin's was always trying to get us to eat Korean barbecue. Yeah, I wish you guys would go. So you had Korean food, Korean but then barbecue. you went to—I've never had it. it. So oh. then you went to. Uh, <laughs> Have you not eaten it? Okay. Nah. Come on. Yeah, Waru? We'll go to Waru. I'll take you to Waru. You'll Where's lose it at? Shit. Don't ever put your hand on Where's my face that? like that. <laughs> it's, it's on Washington and, and, and Lincoln. It's great. Nah, I'm, Waru? you never been to Waru? The white guy from New York? Bro. I'm listen to Chin no, no, no. from Korea. Yeah, but, but I'm saying you don't want to drive that far, and I know you won't, but but there's a place no, that's legit, me up in the and it's called Waru. I can't believe you haven't been to Waru. How, how have you not been there? Lex always wants to go there. Now, you know, you know, it's like Game of Thrones forever. Because everyone was like, yeah, you got to watch it. I was, it made me not want to do it. Yeah. That's how I'm with Korean barbecue. I know. Back to Chin, You're though. Annoying. You're going to love it, though. Okay. I'm sure I will. Yeah, Jay loves I mean, it. Jay wa- wishes he was Asian or black, so he doesn't count in this situation. <laughs> it's true. It's hey, true. so uh, dinner, drinks. Then you went to karaoke? Karaoke. Then back. See, I like karaoke I for you because you showed off the vocals. Oh, yeah. I had to do yeah. that. Yeah. For sure. Showed off the old vocals. Mm-hmm. Then you flex that muscle. Very oh, that. The vocal muscle, yeah, yeah, for sure. What song did you hit that bitch with? <laughs> yeah, man. What song? What uh, was your go-to? Because I know you were I like, do have a go-to. You, you were this one going, nah, I, I can't. Yeah, give me that. Yeah. <laughs> hit it, Kevin. I can't sing right now. No, I can't do it. We've been drinking all night. What do you, come on. I can't. All right, give it to me. <laughs> what? All right. Oh, what's this? Hot tea for my vocals? Okay. <laughs> Good, 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 hot good, tea, good, good, good. hot tea, and an, and an egg white for my vocal. <laughs> oh, what is that? A squirt of lemon too? Oh God, I guess I'll get up there. Me, me, me. <clears throat> what song? Catch up, mustard. Catch up, mustard. Uh, bedtime by Usher. How's that go? How's that go? Do, 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 Can you just sing? No, I, I don't know. That's bedtime. so cheesy. Bedtime? Just it's sing one. So good. Just sing one it's verse. So Can you play like, us a verse for yeah, it? Yeah, for sure. That was your go-to bedtime from Usher. It's my favorite thing to sing. And you guys were all drunk, and you just started singing this bedtime story. And it's, karaoke is very, very expensive too. Karaoke is expensive because oh, it's you drink and you eat in there too. Aww, it's like a whole thing. Bedtime. We should do. I, there's a. Uh, oh, this uh, is more up tempo. Uh, no, for that's, bedtime. That's uh, another thing playing. Uh, oh. Uh, oh shit! I was like, that's way too much for yeah. me. Uh. Now, now imagine Chin going. No, I girl, I don't. Uh, give me that. I should, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be singing. Man. Girl, I appreciate you coming out tonight. We in Korea town. Had a good time with you. Tonight. I've been waiting <laughs> all goddamn night. When oh, I say all night, I mean yeah, about yeah. ten years for I'm this. I'm wearing my checkered shirt right now. Now I feel pressured because my friends. Oh, oh Chin trying to fuck. <laughs> Are you trying to These fuck? Are hearts on a Go sing, to. Jack. Oh, not a sing. Oh. Fucking Chin. He can sing, huh, Usher? Hey, you know this fucking news? You're white. Wow, I, this would not be my go-to. Oh, it's Because good. it's not a real popular song. Because, you know, on YouTube, this song's been out forever. <laughs> There's only 100,000 views. Yeah, but that's actually So better. was she like... Yeah. It's actually better. Ryan knows what's up. Because she can't compare you. Yep. We, to Usher? <laughs> She yeah. knows it's Usher. She doesn't know. She's not dude. a fucking. Hey, hey, <laughs> man, let them have their date, bro. <laughs> He's trying to sing right now, what bro. Did you, well, you, you can fuck. stop this, Jim, before we get banned. <laughs> this was your go. This was your first song. Mini. No, I forgot what the first one was. And cracks, just, cracks in my broken heart, which I'm sure you guys don't know. Man, you got all you got all uh, romantic. And hey, did, do you get in her face and, and sing? Yeah. Do you get in her face and sing these tunes? No, that's too cheesy. It's always yeah. awkward when someone looks yeah. you in the eye and starts oh, singing. But then you so sing next to them and then kind of look. Oh, and shit. Kinda sing, kinda oh, look. You were gonzoed up in your yeah, pants. Super gonzoed up. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> and what, she, what did she sing? God, I wish I could be there. I really don't remember ooh, the stuff that she sang. She sang really well, though. She can sing, too? She sings. 
Really? Sounds like we got you don't a Bonnie say. and Cher thing going on. I was going to say, you're going to have a bunch of little chinlets. <laughs> chinlets? Who can sing oh, their ass off. Little, Sounds little like we chinlets. got a K-pop group in the world. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. And you got your white dancers so in the back. So where'd you guys leave it at? When are you going to see her again? Yeah, of course. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Well, there happens. goes Chinlet. You got a yeah. full-blown girlfriend. No, no, no. Hey. Yeah. Job well done, sir. Job well done. Yeah, what's yeah, up, Gary? Yeah, yeah. Woo! What's up? Let me get some. Still get those Chinder shirts, though. <laughs> yeah. And let's, let's go ahead and celebrate. Let's go ahead they drop this Wednesday. Let's celebrate Chin getting gonzo in go his pants. And let, uh, let's let, go ahead and let old Brian, uh, Big Brian, <laughs> inspect the old merch. No, man. Yeah. You can't run a quality control <laughs> screening mm-hmm. on it. Let it's us just, take her to karaoke, but... Shut the door. It's just called quality control. That's all it is. What you song? Want that, hey, what 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 song would we sing to her to kind of you know just let her know what we're all about? Probably. Uh, let me. S- you can't always get what, what you want, want. But this time you can. <laughs> Ooh, maybe this time you, you can't, can't always, always get. get- what you want? Why does it have to be just Korean for you? How about two white guys, two white guys? That's the same Aerosmith song. Fifty and thirty-four. Huh? What? what Fifty a, and thirty-four. What about an old under? You know that under pressure song? Under pressure. Under pressure. Chipping around with my brains on the floor. <laughs> That's not. Oh, that does have. Yeah. That, that, wouldn't that be a great song? <laughs> it's so hard to sing. I did, I did. Oh my God, Freddie Mercury could sing. Oh, I wish I could sing. I want to sing. Screaming, let me out. That's such a great song. That might be my favorite song of all time. Yeah, you know, and and by Can the way, not a bad, chair? not a bad, not a bad song to say that about because it's play so it unique funeral. and so good, and funeral, you never dude. don't play it my like. I will. Can you do that? I will. Just on repeat. Where they people got are like again. David Bowie and and and, and not this uh, one. Freddie Mercury. Oh, under about? pressure with Queen, Queen and yeah. David Bowie. Right there. Just do that first one because this one. The first one. Oh. Actually, let's watch live. Let's watch. This live. is the one oh, where uh, Vanilla Ice sued them, or he sued yeah. Vanilla Ice. Yeah. This was an amazing band. Oh my God. Watch, watch Freddie Mercury. This is number one for me. Of Brian all time. May, there's Brian May. Incredible. I've been balls deep into old tunes these days. Oh. Now I want you to picture me and my slingshot going down PCH. Here, blown in the wind. Look at him. Watch this. Look at Freddie. Look at Freddie. Jeez. Ah! Look, at, look at him. Crowd. Oh, oh crowd. yeah. What? What a voice. Now imagine me and Brian, half mass. We're in sungas. Look at him. In tank tops. Your girl sitting in front of us. <laughs> Bobby, do at, it. Look at Bowie. Hey, man. Now his girl's in front of us, and she's under pressure because we're we're gonzoed up. Quality we're, control. We're American as fuck. Welcome to quality control. Time to do. What's that? What is it? What do you call this? Gonzo. Time to gonzo nose. Hey, listen. Gotta run, we've got to run our gonzo nose over all the merchandise. <laughs> Because these things have sensors for irregularities. And guess what? Gonzo's about to bust. Yeah. I need to blow his nose. You know, with Gonzo bust, it means if you pass. It means there are no irregularities. Time for a Gonzo nose screening. Check for irregularities. Da, da, da. Oh Listen my God. What a great da, 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 da. song. Look at what he's he wearing. Was amazing. So gay and so awesome. And can dress his ass Look off. Chipping around with my brains on the floor. These are the days. Anyways, Jin, long story short, we'd like to fuck your girl to this song. You can stop before you get kicked off. I love him. What a great song. Fuck, I know. You're right. I hear that. I, this came out. I was in my slingshot in the PCH. I'm in a tank top. Yep. I was blasting that thing. Yep. I don't give a You were blasting what? Your dong? No, that yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just cruising. I man. mean, he, he He had a voice beyond I Like mean, an angel. Oh. See, I feel like we should do that for karaoke now. There's a place in Hollywood. I think it's called. Now I know I'm old, the '80s baby, so it, I feel like something Dragon, not Double Dragon. That was a phenomenal, phenomenal video, video game. game. It's something dra- maybe with a White Dragon, mm-hmm. but they have VIP rooms where there's like food, uh, alcohol, and then you have your own rooms because you don't want to be out in the public and say, yep, "Me and Brian don't perform for free." <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Of course we don't. Although so, I am doing a charity tonight at the Canyon Club. <laughs> I'm driving one hour to do a so charity a for free. Um, but so you're gonna see her again, Hunchin? Yeah. I'm yeah, proud of you, man. Thanks, I mean, man. could you have done it without our help? Honestly, for I wouldn't sure. have been. Yeah, I for sure would you could have. 
for sure you get them. I feel like we. But you met her. On, I feel like we you met this on Tinder. You met her on Tinder. No, no, no. Okay, you did. friends. But here's the thing. This is where Brian and Big B here helped you. I don't know if you would have taken the leap and got Gonzo no, you're in right. your pants yeah. if we didn't kind of apply the pressure the way, we, and also yeah. put the bat Gonzo signal out uh-huh. that chins are looking. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can you imagine when he starts working out? When you start tightening things up from the neck down? What? You're going to be a giant and Korean to protect a woman. Uh, yeah. Throwing your he's hands. Gonna be a, he's going to be the Korean Chris Hemsworth. Fucking A, right? Hey, you Thor. You goddamn Korean right. Edition. You're, you're Thor. You're, you're Godzilla. They, does does your new girl? That's well, that's my, my apologies that's to all you That's so Koreans. racist. It is. Does your girl know she's fucking with the Korean Chris Hemsworth? You Thor, dude. Korean when Thor. you start working you're out, Thor. when you start working out, I mean, mm-hmm. you're already a good-looking guy, but when you start working out, and you, you get Brian. all kinds of tight, and you, you can sing, smart, all that shit. Forget it. It's game mm-hmm. over. It's all she wrote. I might start dating you. I, <laughs> yeah, might, I sh- might make a run at it, but we gotta run quality control. With the Gonzo noses, <laughs> Jim would got to check for it. You got to get nose to nose on her. Hey, would nose the nose? Just talking to the mic, girl. Um, would you ever go on a triple date? Would you? Are you afraid to bring around me and Brian here? No triple date. Me if you me. guys bring your girls, yeah. No, no. I was we'll thinking more of the three We're of us and her solo. <laughs> We're riding solo. We got and the, MJ. We got the blow and the cash. If MJ's there, it's different than and we're this. looking to spend. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's all get drunk and see where we end up. So you're going to see her again. And the wedding went good. Jin's yeah. life is fascinating. He could be a Korean assassin. Yeah, for all it's, all, it's all secrets. I have no idea. It's all secrets, bro. I have no idea. We've got no, we don't know anything. He doesn't even live in Koreatown. I saw that picture of the girl, so I believe it for a second. I thought it was Photoshop. He's not even Korean. That's a mask. Who knows? He might even be Chris Hemsworth. And know. how'd the singing thing go at the wedding? What, do you have the busiest weekend ever? Not really. Wedding in a dick suck. Uh, you just sang the song and it went great? Mm. Is there any video of it? I'm sure some people took video, but Please, I don't know. Please uh, tag Fire the Kid if you got the video at the wedding so we can see him actually perform. There's plenty of footage of me singing online at weddings. I'm pretty sure. Where? I'll find it for you next time. All right. Mm-hmm. At wedding. MJ, what'd you do this weekend? Chilled? School as usual? Same old. A lot of people reaching out to us after that last podcast. Oh, yeah, a lot of people reaching out. Tell us to them. hook you up with them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. We've never had You know a, what? Yeah. We've never Dude, had Dude, you tell guest. MJ. Yeah. I'll oh. take her out right now. Every I'm like, that's not her problem. Oh, her little eye. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. She gives okay. a shit about that. Some really cool feedback. A lot you, of, actually, like a lot of our um, fans that are girls were reaching out too. Love yeah. it. Let yeah. me tell you something right now. Yeah, I'm looking at you right now. We've been over the speed. We don't need to do it. Hey, quiet. You don't need to keep it. Quiet, quiet, quiet. (laughs) If you had a dick, I'd be like, fuck it. We'll work it out. I'll just push it to the side. Why is my voice doing this right now? (laughs) Sorry, man. See, I tried helping you. Sorry. With a shitty bit. Uh, What's 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 had a dick? Let's just move it to the side. Yeah, you're good, MJ. Yeah. You're good. You got some current events, Jen? Yeah. How great was Freddie Mercury, though? God damn. He, he, he died of want to grow a mustache. Yes, he did. Badly, too. It sucked. Oh. Now, this you know is this one, right? This, this is a guy who well, wanted t- to get Let's let... Because we... What is so, it, Jim? The Dolphins assistant coach, Chris Forster, resigned after a video of him showing that he was, like, snorting coke. Or some white substance that looks white like substance. coke. White substance. But this is before the game? Is that the video there? I haven't the seen it. I've, I've, it's, I've watched first take every morning, so I saw that, but I, just play the video for Check me. Miami Dolphins are investigating a video which just surfaced. Why is he filming this? Which He's sent into a girl, offensive. which is a weird. stripper, right? Oh, in Vegas. Snorting a powdery substance. The Miami Herald reports a team spokesman said, We were just made aware of the video and will have no comment at this time. You have to Forster can be seen in the video talking straight into the camera as he does three lines of the white stuff. Why would you do that? Are yeah, pinned. Why His eyes are that? fucking hey, pinned. Hey, thinking about you. How about me going to a meeting and doing this before I go? <laughs> That's an old guy trying to speak to Kiwana Niger, a model based out of Las Vegas. Mm. The video was posted on her Facebook. She's a professional. On Facebook, she says, I really don't do this often, but since it's NFL Sunday, let's <gasps> talk about these coaches. Oh, folks. fuck. According to the Miami Herald, a source familiar with the layout of offices within the Dolphins facility says the video. Video seems to take place at a Dolphins office. So she out has worked 24 yeah, seasons in the NFL for eight different teams. 24 C. Hold on. 
24 seasons in the NFL. So I need I need a little color because I don't know as much. Let's let's dilate for a second. Number one, she's a nasty piece of work, huh. but, she but also money he should him. know better because he's he's that stripper from Vegas doesn't love you, bro. So that's the you whole. You also sent her a video of you doing. But you, it's you look, cocaine. You look, you're looking to get caught. It's the cocaine. I don't think he's looking to get caught. I think he's an older gentleman. He's listen. He spent 24 seasons in the NFL, so he's what 60 probably. Oh, yeah. So let's say he's 60. He just doesn't realize the. Rev- he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, mm-hmm. then he's so he's just like, ah, oh, fuck it. This is what kids do. And then also, hey, babe, can you imagine I'm doing this before work? That's him being dangerous and hurt, like trying to turn her on and well, stuff. Okay. He didn't know. He didn't it's think. He didn't fathom that someone would blast this out and fuck him over. Yeah. What's an assistant coach? Like, explain that to me. Like, that's a hard job to an get. An offense line of coach? Yeah. Fuck yeah. In the NFL? Yeah. yeah. Took him very, 24 very, years. Very difficult job. Lots of lots Everyone of shit. wants that job. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. But he's out. The other thing High is. High paying? Uh, decent. Uh, they, six figures. Okay. But also, especially 24 seasons in the NFL, he's probably getting paid pretty well. Sure. He knows his shit. Everyone who knows him, mm. like, you hear people speak about him, they're like, what the fuck? Well, I've known this guy forever. Mm. There's. I can't see him doing this at all. So, oh. midlife crisis. Yeah. Dealing with a hooker. Who knows? Be, dealing with a professional. Let's be real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Professional. And then professional. Um, That's so nasty of her to do that. I don't yeah. know. I wonder what her intention was with posting that. She's, she's just uh, attention, shit. right? I guess it's attention. attention. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, but of course, uh, sir, you should know. You should know. <sighs> it's such a shame. You know, you, twenty-four years. I'm fifty. Years I'm fired. not that much younger, and I would yeah. never send a picture. A video of me doing blow doing to a drugs? stripper. A lot of older cats don't when I work realize for the NFL. It, yeah, he doesn't they don't realize, realize how connected, it. Like, they have no idea. They're so lost. When he, it comes they're to just media. like, no. Why would the, why would she do that? It makes her look stupid. Like he just doesn't. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't. But get also, you sixty, babe. Look at me doing it before I go into the office. You, how crazy! I mean, they just just take me as an example. I could probably get away with it, but then again, I do the Goldbergs where I play a coach for kids on ABC. Like I can see ABC going, you, you know, no. Or we got to get – you just have to be aware of that stuff, man. Like, I don't know, man. It's a little it's a, different because he's, a, he's a coach and he's doing – so I don't think you – I don't I know. I could probably weather it, you know. but you, you couldn't weather if you're doing it on set. This is the difference. Yeah. He did this at the – in his office for the Miami Dolphins. Yeah. The plot thickens. No, you're going to get fired. Well, if you, you do, do it that, anyway. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, now, do they fire him? Do they put him in drug rehab and then they bring him back? No. He, no, he had to resign. He had to resign. Which is weird they didn't fire him on the spot because that goes with a whole other issue. But Well, they, they, a lot of times I think in, in any organization, there's if you're doing drugs, you get a chance to go get help. So a lot of times you have to resign, go get help, go get drug counseling, and then we'll have you back. You know, and you, I'm sober now, I'm back, okay, you made a mistake. NFL's a little different. I would imagine they're very like conservative. That. Doesn't work like that. So you, you I, don't think, I don't think a lot of big businesses don't look, especially for a high level job. They're yeah, not, NFL they're not going to put around. up with that. So that's done. But done I don't anything. think a lot of businesses are going to put up with that. If you're doing it in the office, they do. They put up with it. Like the businesses quietly, uh, corporations and stuff. I guess when it's that public, it's a little bit more difficult. Not if it's out like this and you're in your, you know, I don't think so, well, B. Rush Limbaugh, for example, had a major oxycotton problem or whatever it is. And he had to. Go and get help, and you know. But did, but, but did he get caught doing it on in the studio? Uh, I don't know. I don't Probably so. not on the yeah, ground. Yeah. You're, you're talking about a different animal. Yeah. If it's in your private life and you had a party and get you caught think he's doing done? it, you think he's done? You think the animal will never have him back? Because that's a valuable guy. Um, uh, no, I bet I bet he gets another job for yeah. sure. I don't think so. He goes get help, and then he gets another job with maybe, another team. Maybe yeah. it's a bummer for his family. Yeah, that's the biggest bummer. Yeah. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's fucking embarrassing. You know that's he probably woke up and was like, "Fuck." Yeah, I mean that's right. What did she release this? I'm so embarrassing on Facebook on the Facebook no Facebook <laughs> old man. God so, damn it! So fucking embarrassing. Wait, she has a book with her face on it. No, no. that video of you fucking soaring crack in no. the Miami Dolphins God, office. No. She released on a huge. Platform. I really Everyone's think that's seen a form it. of self sabotage. It's just a form. Of I don't like, think so. I don't no. think that's I fair to say. I, I, I think no. he's sixty and he didn't realize what was going on. I don't no. believe that. It's not self sabotage for what? Because you you videotape people do weird things. It's you not self sabotage. B. That's a six year old not knowing what social media. Oh, is. Oh come on! He videotaped it and sent it. to He her. doesn't even have a Facebook account or Twitter. He's sixty. Mm-hmm. He's been in the league for twenty four years. He has how many children and a wife? There's no self sabotage. Why would you want to lose halfway through the season? I think people do crazy yeah. shit. That's why. I think that's a cop out. Subconscious. No, I don't think so. 
I, I've, I've sent know, some videos, and I've never been, been like, God, I hope I get caught here. Yeah. You no. have discretion. He just doesn't realize. So <laughs> I'm no. with Big Brown on this. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. man. It's insane. Nelly, though. Now, if he was 24, 25, or 30, even 35, and he was, he was on social media a lot, and I'm like, by, no, by the of way, course. He's also really high on coke. <laughs> and you're True. doing three lines of God knows how many. When you're that high on blow, you're like, you know what? I'm fucking sending my girlfriend a video because I'm cool as shit. You're cool as shit. I love you. You love me. This is a celebration. And babe, I'm fucking crazy. And then he sobered up and went, what the fuck did I do? Uh, That's actually, you got to take into account the fact that cocaine makes you do He's some, high. Cocaine will make you start but, a business. But he also has he also has issues, obviously, if he's doing it at this place of work. Yeah. This isn't the first time he's done no, it. No, it's not. And that's why he had to resign. What else you got, Jen? Nelly was arrested for rape. What? Yeah, but but he wasn't charged, but he was arrested. Some some girl called the police saying that she was sexually assaulted by him on in his, his tour bus. bus yeah, yeah, around like three o'clock in the morning. So he actually got arrested. Because they know. they have to arrest someone if those claims come about, right? I'm assuming you have to, yeah. And so, but is there any other facts? We can't hang him out to dry. He's uh him. no, he's he says he's. Absolutely innocent, and then they're going to go through the procedures of you know fighting it. Uh, he wasn't charged though, so he was just arrested. Yeah, because there's no evidence. evidence there. Not enough. Yeah, it's always tough. It doesn't stuff. seem like three in the morning on the bus. Yeah, Nelly probably don't need to rape. Think? Although you never know with guys. True. You know, I, I never know that NFL player Jamie Sharper, the fuck his name is Darren Sharper, yeah. who raped that was you know roofing girls. The, he's, he makes Nelly look like a turd with eyes. There's also the, there's also this thing where you know if you if you Accuse somebody of rape, and there are no charges. You can sue them. There's a civil case too that you can make money off. So no, they're making money. You, you the, can sue them, them for yeah. defamation of character, right? Yeah, but you can sue them for rape too. If so, if you, there's no evidence and you get, you know, uh, you're not, you know, you can you can bring a suit. There's a civil there's, suit. There's a, a criminal, whole lot of speculation. Case. A 3 a.m. tour bus. Who knows what happened in there? Yeah. Obviously, Nelly's a big name. I'm not saying he didn't do it. I'm saying I'm waiting to see what else comes about wait did you see him though um over the weekend he was, had like a seven-year-old girl come up on stage and he was like playing with her hair and this is all within like i think the same weekend or i think pretty yeah. close did you see, there's a video no but it, what is it like he was helping the seven-year-old out like it was just weird like like he was like singing to her and i think he was just trying to be like oh like cute Terminator, like, i don't yeah. know but like it was it was a little off it was, it was a little creepy off. it was kind of creepy he was like mm. like nose to nose with her mm. i don't know if you can find it nelly seven-year-old girl He's just singing. I'm... But he got a lot of backlash from this though, over the People weekend. People are upset about it? Mm-hmm. If somebody accuses you of something like that. It's... I saw it on Instagram. Mm. I don't if somebody know. accuses you, it's kind of It's a little weird. Up. And he's playing with her hair as he's singing to her nose to nose. Like, I'd have to see Kind of weird. Really yeah. Is that Nelly? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, 13. Did Someone else said Nelly? seven. So. <laughs> So he's kissing uh, he's her head. Her. No, but there's another video where he's literally like, up. "I'm not saying you know, I don't, I didn't, I don't know the full story, but uh, he's being no, backlash. Not that. That's not, this isn't the one. Okay. Oh, that's a 13 year old. Yeah, this, it was a, he's just bringing. Hey, it's gonna be those. This one, that is one, this yeah. one? Appreciate you being here tonight. It's eight just, minutes long. Keep Mel away from your eight year old. No, I don't think. I love cool. this song. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the girl on the right. That's the one. The, 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 oh, come uh, on. Nah, those people look yeah. yeah, But he's getting backlash from it. I was just ah, people are people. fucking idiots. Yeah. yeah. Or because this eight year old's a huge fan, so he made her fucking yeah. year by bringing her on stage. I was, I've been listening to Nelly this for a long little, time. You know? Yeah. yeah I mean, I haven't listened to I'm a fan of him. I like his time. music. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, okay. it's a fucked up thing about getting accused. I mean, there are always going to be people. Mm-hmm. You wait till the evidence comes out. What does she got, Jen? Okay, today is Columbus Day, right? Uh, you mean indige- Indigenous yeah. People Day, depending <laughs> where you're from. Yeah. So a bunch of cities are now take, they're changing it to Indigenous People's Day. Hey, man. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just being now, Can you please eat that into the mic so they're everyone so stops listening? <laughs> um, yeah, how about that? But, you know, I think certain uh, areas have decided not to call it Columbus Day. Mm-hmm. L.A.? Uh, is it LA? I thought it was Burbank. Does is LA still? Burbank? I thought all of LA was going to do Really? It. We don't call it Columbus Day anymore? I thought... Was that an LA thing? No, I but know. I know Certain Berkeley, count, Austin, Berkeley, Burbank. Berkeley. Berkeley did it twenty five years ago. God damn, Berkeley, take it Have easy. A game. <laughs> Berkeley's always on the. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, Columbus Day. Now, the kids, uh, you, I can't remember if we got Columbus Day off or not. The school across the street from me did not have it off. 
Hmm. Indigenous I remember, I think People's Day. I used to. Right. It's, it's, it always cracks me up that indigenous people are somehow more noble than the uh, the Spanish, French, English, you know, whatever the Western people that came in uh, and conquered. It always cracks me up because it's all it's all horseshit. Because the indigenous people, when when were they indigenous? And the idea that indigenous people, if you listen to Native American historians, guys like Steve Rinella, the amount of fighting among, for example, Native Americans. And the amount of fighting that went on between the Maori and the Samoan and the amount of fighting that always went on with the Aztec. I mean, with the, the Aztec Empire wasn't exactly um, peace loving. Hey, so B, I don't think beings, anyone's saying that no, no. Native Americans weren't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's true that you know, Columbus fight. apparently I, I read when I was a history in, in high school. What I heard was Columbus gave the Native Americans Pox ridden blankets. Yeah, they like, could wink them yeah. over and took so, their land. So there was a great That's deal the argument. No, I don't think anyone's yeah. saying that yeah, they Columbus didn't for fight Columbus each wasn't... other. Well, I'm just saying. We all know that, they were absolute. That, that I mean, history is one in which there was always empire and there was always there was always one stronger group that would come in and subjugate another group. And we can go all the way back to history the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the, the Persians. It just goes on and on. The Romans, the so, Greeks. But be so, uh, but so for me, to, to I guess correlate, what I'm saying is But to correlate with this, because you're a little all over the place. So to correlate yeah. with this, you're saying that it well, should what, what, what this is, 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 is that this is a, a sort of salute to the indigenous people that were conquered by Columbus. That, you know, so the idea was that the people that were here who were indigenous to this region were essentially subjugated by, you know, the way Cortez did and the way various like people did to the Aztecs, to the Incas. And uh, I understand there's a sensitivity there, but it's it tends to be a little bit one sided sometimes to me. I, I don't care about Columbus Day. It's not. I understand. I understand uh, my family celebrates it dis- very much. I understand. Well, yeah. I understand. We Is there anyone who goes nuts we didn't over discover Columbus America. Day? You know, in other words. The Europeans discovered America. And when I say we, you know, you get, well, I, I have nothing to do with Christopher Columbus, but we discovered America. Did he, discovered I heard America. Cl- Christopher Columbus like accidentally found America. Yes, have you heard those? He was looking for a trade route. Yeah, and, and just yeah. like, what the fuck mm-hmm. is this? Is that mm-hmm. how the, the Indian terminology came around? Because he thought he was in India. So when I heard yes, that. Idea was, was he thought he was India, he was so that's why they call him correct. Indians instead of. Yeah. That's why you can't they, refer they were to them looking as for Indians. better trade routes, I think, for, for the spice trade and things like that. Yeah, and that's why you can't refer to them yeah. as Indians. Yeah. Christopher Columbus was from where? And also don't call them savages. Where was yeah, he from? Spain? Mm-hmm. Look that up, please. <laughs> do you not know? I do. Where? Where? Let's do Before it. Before you look it up, where? <laughs> Hold on, don't look it up. Christopher Columbus was Italian. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. But look it look up. Look it up yeah. for sure. Because Columbus, Columbus, Columbus does doesn't sound like an Italian name. No, it doesn't. I thought he was Spanish. I thought he was from Spain. Mm-hmm. Columbus Wikipedia. was an Italian explorer, navigator, and colonizer. There you go. But a lot of people, a lot of people think that he was from uh, Spain. Why? Click on that because uh-huh. he was from Genoa. Uh, and well, what the people, what the what the Indigenous Day people want is for on today to study Native Americans and not. The study of Christopher Columbus. Yes. Maybe, I don't know, study both. I was about to How say, about that? study both. That's exactly right. We I, we learned a lot about Native Americans. Uh-huh. Geronimo. And- well, the great thing is that there is this, this great, this this idea that the Native Americans lived in harmony with their environment. <laughs> True. More, more so than did the Westerners that came and shot all the buffalo and fucking laid railroad tracks and stuff like that. However... There is a lot of evidence to suggest that indigenous people, because they were human beings, just like everybody, came in and killed so many of the megafauna that were indigenous at the time to, say, the continental United States, to South America. To, it's it's always human beings. We, as an ape, have come in War, and fight. radically changed our environment. Uh, I, I mean, it, it, that's pretty well known. B. I don't think you're breaking any. News I'm just. Here. I'm just saying that 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 you know. Uh, they weren't peaceful people. No, and they were, and, and human beings. But most whether educated Indian, people know whether, that. Whatever, yeah, whether Indian, whatever, we're not so in harmony with their environment. They hunted the fuck out of everything that was around because they had to and got very good at it. We're very we're expert at it. The giant sloths and all those things that you see at the La Brea tar pits that disappeared. People attribute to climate change. 
A lot of scientists would suggest no. In fact, they were probably hunted to extinction because uh, they re- reproduce very slowly. You ever seen a and giant it, sloth? Again, Not in person, this book, but this book you ever by, seen a uh, picture Nouvelle, of a giant this, sloth? Yes. You know how easy that would be to fucking giant, kill? Giant. You and I could hit that I thing know. in despair. I know. I love a sloth, dude. By the way, 20 I would feet love high. A, I would love a pet Look that sloth. up. They're like 20 feet, 20 feet high. Yuval Harari, in the, there it is, a ground Click sloth. on that fucking Yuval, thing. Yuval Harari in his book, <laughs> Sapiens. Everybody, please read that. I think he, he goes terrifying. through this. Yeah. I think it's terrifying. Although we could kill it. How about the woolly mammoths? That apparently... Apparently, we can bring those back dress park style. Do you know yes, this? Yes, yes. There's, there's They're William working Mamet, on the Woolly Mammoth Project. They have the DNA. Yes, straight up dress park. But by the way, look at that wow. beautiful yeah. sloth <laughs> with the, the mammoth- biggest fingers in the world. <laughs> yep, the mammoth was eaten like a motherfucker. Look at the size of it, twenty feet high. Look at that. Look at that man next to it. That's a lot of meat, dude. How cool would that be? The, to have as a pet. Yeah, the people that came into Siberia and went to Alaska, they were following the woolly mammoth. They thought, and they've thrived, and they ate the fuck out of the woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoths have a gestation period of a long time. I think it's two years. Or but least. back then, they had no idea. To them, it's meat no. survival. You didn't know you were going to fucking right. kill. You didn't know people were going to come in and right. fuck with them, too. Correct. That's a giant gerbil. But think That's about that. the all worst those, Think about all those <laughs> megafauna that, that, were, that, that disappeared. All these animals that were extinct by the time, you know, um, probably what? The saber-toothed tiger went extinct 30,000 years ago, I think it is. That's a piece of shit from that giant <laughs> sloth. sloth. Yeah. Honestly, I thought the turds would be bigger. I do too. That's <laughs> tiny. I'm not that impressed. Look at that claw. Oh, their claws. That's what I'm saying. They're giant claws. Huge. I want to hold one so bad. Well, they Dude, look. They look like ones? those shitty Brazilian nuts. Yeah. Get. Yeah. Hey, look up that wolf. Yeah. There's a bear that's like a cat. That that they think killed a, a lot of people. Bear cat. It's a fucking giant bear. I can't remember. That the was name a cat it. too. It looks like a lion bear. It's like a fucking. Are you talking about a liger? No. Um, oh, that's a sexy it's a panda. It was, it's a red panda. It, it was here when, when we came over the Bering Strait, I guess. Hold on. Chin Google giant bear cat lion. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Okay, Wait. No, that's not. Oh. That's Pantera. just a lion chasing yeah. a... Dude, these things have short snouts. Hey, bro, is it a lion or is it a bear? No, it's a, it's a bear. It, had, it, 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 it could run much faster. It was huge. Look at the size that's of the It's got to be this one, then, right? Oversized lions, too. Has to be that one. Back in the day, no, there were oversized lions. Um, Dude, how gnarly were fucking were animals? There it back is. There then. it is. See that bear right there with the short snout to the left, right there, right fucking there. I, yeah, the short faced <laughs> bear wreaked havoc. That's a lion that right thing there. Looks like shit. Oh, it's a giant. It was a giant. Nah. Yes. Hey, go back, Chen, because there was a look. Is where was the where were you just at? Oh, click on that. Maybe yeah. that's why it's so scary looking there. It's oh. like a rhino. Oh. Damn, that, th- furry that rhino. thing's... That's a furry rhino. I'm more interested in the furry rhino there. They had, they had huge <laughs> lions. Um, saber-toothed tigers. Dude, how, how fucking... How crazy was it back in the prehistoric days? The animals? Crazy. Like, you those giant megalodons. You wonder what it was like. The, the, the creatures in the sea. Yeah. I feel and, like it was so much cooler than but it is human, now. Homo sapiens came over into... I guess they crossed over the Bering Strait. They crossed through Alaska. While we're was- ta- hold on. While we're talking about uh, animals, and this, I was talking about megalodons and other crazy animals. I'm just going to warn everybody right now. I watched that movie, 47 Meters. Oh, my, my. Many more. My wife watched that too. Did you like it? She thought it was scary. That's <laughs> shit. Oh, boy. Makes you uncomfortable. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> hold. Wait for it. Wait for it. Worst movie hold- I've ever seen. <laughs> hey. Hold on. Hey. Hold on. Good review. Good review. Worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Hold on, careful. Now, don't exaggerate. How good was the movie? Good. I would rather you take a saber tooth tiger tooth and ram it up my pee hole than watch that again. Is Are that right? Engine? Not no. bad. Forty-seven meters down. Yeah. <laughs> what? The the what? director of Jaws is like. Mm. <laughs> uh, hey, has a worst movie. I'll, I'll watch it. I'm surprised it went to theaters. It was more like a TV It was in a theater for three hours. I saw it in theaters. Well, I swear to God. Teeth. Then they went, <laughs> get it out of here. Well, those look like my teeth. Yeah, those are... Those are <laughs> I'm really not scared of that friendly shark. <laughs> yeah, that's a you ever see when someone changes <laughs> the teeth on a great white into normal teeth? <laughs> so and they look friendly as fuck? Have you ever seen that? No. no. Hey, do that, Chin. Go uh, great white with human teeth. It's like a, a great white... Shark, hu- but put yeah, human I, teeth. I, I got okay. it. I got By the it. way, look at those things. 
No, look I know. I know they're horrible. Sharks. But look how if you just change the teeth, ah! look how great they <laughs> the look. Braces. Go ahead and click on that. Look how great they look. Who wouldn't hang that out with them? That's so funny. It's just the teeth, <laughs> man. The one on the like, right look how fun this one's having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's smiling. Look at that. Well, ah, that, that one. one. How great of a time that's, is he having? That's really funny. <laughs> Who would have? Uh, 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 think if that was in the ocean. Well, that's the laughing shark. They call that the laughing shark. How uh, cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> It eats, it eats How carrots. Crazy. You it just carrots you just, and other vegetables. You just change their teeth, and you're like, "Holy fuck, I want one now." Yep. Would you, I would swim all over the sea if that thing was out there. So would I. I'm afraid of Sharky <laughs> Park. That one. Maybe not that one. Not that one. <laughs> that one looks like the French guys. How long does the Iceland gym. shark live, guys? Hmm? Hundred years. years. Five hundred years. Oh, I thought it was hundred or two hundred. Five hundred years. Look, see, look how cool the goddamn those white ass teeth. <laughs> those white teeth. Nothing like I'm mine. Isn't it crazy though? Yeah, I got to change my trade. Today. All right, what else you got, Jen? <laughs> uh. God. Oh, uh, let's do this one. Harvey Weinstein. Oh, Every yeah. a lot of actresses are coming out and blasting him, saying he did sexually. Oh, he's so screwed, dude. He listen, got fired from uh, the Weinstein whatever. I, I've been in this business for twenty two, twenty three years here in L.A. I've been hearing stories about that guy from re, re, sources reliable enough, like girlfriends I dated and was dating at the time. But it, it's kind of known around Hollywood. I mean, like no one's surprised. I've been hearing that story. Everyone I, mean, I know that says exact story of, of him come out coming out naked. So what did she, what Meryl Streep called like my uh, everyone saying disgraceful and excuse all right. But um, what you call it? Kathy Lee Griffin said that he masturbated in front of her. Yeah, he he. The, I think the kind of the icing on the cake or the the needle that broke the camel's back was he. Um, Got caught or not got caught? Someone told him about he jacked off into a plant. Yeah, man, I, I I've heard plenty of stories of him coming, running out and just naked. <clears throat> there's a, I guess there's a lot more that are going to come out, but they signed non disclosures. But he's super screwed for he decades. Well, he looks creepy. He does. He's he awesome. really does. He's awesome. My God, he looks like the bad character you'd cast in a movie for. Jacking off in plants. So my my friend my friend worked with him and uh, he was like, yeah, we're really close and we're working on Ooh. this thing. You know, you know what it is. I, I, and the guy, I'll, I'll tell you about it later. But um, I might have told you the story. He's like, yeah, we're working together. I'm like his son at this point. He's great. And then he and my other buddy who worked with him for a while, they go, um, I go, what's going on with the wine thing? Everything. He goes, he just he lies. He's just <laughs> such a liar. He's full he shit. just lied like so blatantly, but then he's okay about it. It's just the business. Which again, that I'm like, all right, I you know. Well, don't it, be a liar. He, you're, he's very good at his job. The guy could find yeah, great I, movies. Yeah, I asked one of my friends else. who knows movies better. Oh, he knows I know. his shit. And I go, why is he so good? He goes, because he's so talented. He and his brother. I, why, I said, but, why has he been around for so long? He goes, because he's so talented. Yeah, he goes, that's the only way it works. But he is. I mean, I could never he been be in room, any but, more gross? Oh, ah. You imagine being a young woman trying to make it in Hollywood, and he comes out jacking off in his Wait, towel that's what with he would his do. tits did, did to the to side. Ashley Judd. And he's God. So you, as a woman, you're like, oh, what am I going to do? This guy's sitting in a bathtub. Now, would I suck and- Harvey Weinstein's dick to be the next Batman? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Look at how awful he looks, though. He's just, oh, my. Imagine kissing that. Yeah, he's not an attractive troll. Man. He's just not an attractive He looks like the guy who eats trolls from the movie yeah. Trolls. Yeah, he's got. He looks how, one of the people. By the way, talk trolls. about being exposed when all those women come out and they're like, "Yeah, he would." Here's pull a, his pants. So off is he? And start God, off so is he going to get prison time? B? How's that work? I think that he just gets disgraced and yeah. he does the Cosby time. thing. Just kind of goes. It's away. just embarrassing, and now he has to take a back seat, which is awful for him. Because oh. he can't. He can't be the man. Could he's he a, get he's any the uglier? Yeah, he was the man. Like you're the man when you walk into a into a room at Sundance or whatever, and everybody's kissing your ass because everybody wants to be in business. And now now it's embarrassing, man. Look at Jay-Z. <laughs> he knows he's crazy. Jay-Z's like, what the fuck? <laughs> All <of her> <laughs> yeah, they're working together, right? They're doing something. Not anymore. Yeah. What else you got, Jen? Bad guy. Yeah, um, I think so. Oh, do you guys know about Jeremy Lin getting dreadlocks? It's like a I big thing for some Yeah, he got dreadlocks and people were, ha- were they him. hating on him. Yeah, I people like, are hating on I him. I like him. He, now that. he's not he's Chinese. Chinese, yeah. I like his hair. I think I think cool he looking. did that so he can start the conversation of people, you know, you know, people getting to know other cultures, but a lot of uh, people don't like it. Like a lot of the not a lot, but some black players don't like it. Why? Only only uh, black people can appropriation. have appropriation. Get the fuck out of here with your <laughs> appropriation. Fuck you talking America about? is appropriation. Cultural mm-hmm. appropriation is how we advance. Hold you on. take the best parts of people's cultures, you fucking dummy. Hold on. So so 
Kenyon Martin, who's a famous African American player in the mm. NBA, used to retire now, has a problem with his dreads. He did have a problem. What did he it. say? Uh, he didn't. Please play, play that. that. Hold on a sec. Do I need to remind this damn boy that his last name Lynn? Like, Kim Martin on, has man. Asian Let's tattoos. Stop this, man. These people, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> like there was no way possible, man. He would have made it on one of our teams, man, with that bullshit going on on his head, man. Like, come on, man. Like, somebody really need to tell him, like, all right, all right, bro, we get it. We get it. Like, you want to be black? Like, we get it. But the last name is Lynn. What? A that's kind of that's racist video. too. That's that more offensive than him having dreads. Not to mention, he has a bunch of Asian mm. tattoos. Yeah, like it, symbols and signs yeah. and. But everybody should take. See, if you pick up a history book, all of everybody who has a problem with this, we are all products of a mixture of cultures. And by the way, we're all products of empire. We're all products of a, of of another country coming in and taking over that country. In the, the original cultures that that were in the thousands no longer exist. They were all brought together by the Romans, by the Greeks. Again, we're all a product of all so many different cultures. And so is he. So is Kenyon Martin. From the language he speaks to the food he eats to the From clothing the car he wears, he drives, staff, everything. Everything. It's a, it is a mixture of cultures. And what makes things great is idea sex, is a mixture. I'm sorry to bring this up, but this is what we talk about on Mixed Mental Arts. This is the fucking point, is you want to mix. You want to have idea sex. You want to you have cultural sex. This country is great because of a cultural appropriation. When you eat a burrito, it's got rice from China, meat from the old world. It's got fucking peppers and tomatoes from the new world. It's all a mixture, man. It's got Aztec. It's got Spanish. It's got Asian. It's got fucking, you know, and it's got American. That's what a burrito is. Do you like burritos? If you don't, then you might want to leave my country. And that's an example. Idea sex. So Idea sex. Jeremy Lin can't have dreads because his last name is Lin? Oh, so you're, if you're Chinese... If you come from that part of the world, you're not allowed to dread your hair. Hmm. Interesting. So now there's a way you have to wear your hair. You have to just extrapolate this bullshit. But Kenyon Martin's not a deep thinker. He's a fucking, uh, you know, he's just reacting in his own way. He's having a moment. And probably being half, he's only being half serious probably. So fuck it. He got a lot of hate back. So he, he kind yeah. of, yeah. Sure. Hell yeah, he did. He yeah. kind of backed up a little bit. Yeah. It's called freedom of expression, and I celebrate it. And I like dreads on Jeremy Lin, and I like dreads on white people. Well, I, I don't. They smell like shit. <laughs> Not me. You know what? I don't, you know, I I'm, going, I'm going to say that for white people. Don't wear I dreads, dreads Hey, pull up hot white people with dreads. <laughs> Sometimes a blonde with dreads, like a surfer. Ooh, some of those half girls dreads. are great. There's some cute girls that have oh. like half dreads Fuck and half on yeah. top. yeah. I've always liked dreads. Honestly, I really have. I think dreads are kind of cool. They're kind of smelly. I right? think that's yeah. cool. I think those guys think look cool that as girl, shit. The girl, the, the, the blonde. I think they're the super right. smelly. The blonde? I like them, dude. To the right. I, I like down them. To the... so she looks pretty down below. Oh, that one. Yeah. She's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Those are like sort of, yeah, those are half dreads, right? They're not no, super dreaded No, that's not half dreads. Half dreads are usually when she you feel like smooth though. on top. That's, Either a, that's way, a lot of dreads. Those are dreads. It's a style choice. And nobody owns a style choice. No one. We can all do it. Sandberg. Oh, gosh. That's a wig. (laughs) Yeah. Be hilarious if we actually had him. That's so gross. It's all good, man. (laughs) That's typically the people with dreads. I'm not hot like this. Yeah. There's a lot of of that in uh, Oregon, right? In Portland. Everywhere. White people with dreads kind of freak me Mm. out, but whatever. I don't give a flying fuck to do it. Mm. Hey, sweetie. I'm a dirty guy on my... There you go. I want to dread my hair. I wonder who's the first to do dreads. Jamaicans? That's usually where it came. Like Bob Marley made it huge. Remember? I think that was going on way back, right? Because they put wax. Because you got to put wax in your hair to do it, Dude, and not wash is that it. How you do it? Yeah, that's how. Especially that's how you. Okay, Christina Aguilera got a bunch of slack for her braids, which. I... I don't know. I think it's, it was cool at the time. This was like early 2000s. So Christina when Aguilar, were like, who might be Spanish? Is that what she's... Or, she's yeah, she's yeah, a little she has Latin. some Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess if you're Mexican or if you're Latin, you can't have that either. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, some people... Yeah. The, the, way, the way not to advance things is with identity politics. That's the enemy. That's the biggest bunch of bullshit in the world. 
because I, I, you know, it's like uh, I, I don't. I think most people who make this world turn don't give a fuck. So I, I don't right. like why Kenyon Martin talking about that. It doesn't like, do really matter, right? Well, it, but it doesn't matter. Why do we care what what yeah. he thinks? Yeah. Why would you care? Yeah, the high the the that's, influencers that's right. aren't point. gonna really. It's a good point. Comment on that. I agree, a hundred percent. What else you got, Chin? Yeah, uh, dread, dread smell like shit, though. They do. <laughs> MJ, you want to talk about this one? Oh, sure. Have you guys heard about this? Um, the craze over the Szechuan sauce? No. What? So, okay, there's this TV show called Rick and Morty. It's, it's this... on after Family Guy on uh, hilarious. Cartoon Network? Super crass, though. Like, it's <clears throat> way worse than South Park and Beavis any and of butthead? those. Way, way more um on edge i guess you could say they push a lot of boundaries but it's it's hilarious it's really funny Never seen it. um they just finished their third season so rick who's the mad scientist in it he always is like bitching that he wants a szechuan sauce szechuan sauce came out um in 1998 with the mulan i think sauce? okay so it's like the special sauce um they, they brought it out in 98 from mulan and they didn't bring it back out and people have always wanted mcdonald's to bring it back and now with it's getting notoriety with the show um McDonald's brought it back for one day this weekend, and then everyone... The show must be huge. It's huge. Rick and Morty... I have it on my phone, like a sticker of Rick and Morty. Like, um, uh, People like got pissed off because they ran out. All the McDonald's ran out. People were lining up. <clears throat> Holy and so shit. then there was a boycott. Dad, people so wanted to crazy. boycott McDonald's. And because so, they ran out of the Szechuan sauce. Because of the show. Because of the Szechuan sauce. They <laughs> ran out of Szechuan sauce, and people were like, oh, what? You only had 20 packets of Szechuan sauce inside your restaurant? Like, all this random bullshit but now i guess mcdonald's spoke back and they're gonna bring bring it hold back. up mcdonald's just they tweet out you spoke we've listened lots of Szechuan sauce and location details soon and that's and that's, that's the, the way, the way the news, news goes, goes. <laughs> uh, Fourteen thousand retweets twenty nine thousand yeah. likes Damn. rick and morty's a huge show it's really really popular it's and really it's funny for them to it's force hilarious. mcdonald's to change their policy wow. they must be their fans must be rabbits they i think it's dumb to like bitch on twitter and social media about not sauce. if you want your goddamn sauce not if yeah not if you live <laughs> that's when like, you know <laughs> that's when you know you take your food seriously i, I think it's good though because it shows you the kind of like loyal following a show like what's it called rick and rick morty, and morty? Yeah. like the show it also shows these corporations the type of power certain shows sure. can have they have hats that say szechuan sauce now and you can find them on the internet for like 20 bucks 30 bucks even like 80 bucks on like those bougie boutiques it's crazy but it just goes to show you like these little like subcultures can mm-hmm. definitely affect things sure which is awesome yeah oh yeah what so, else yeah. you got jen i have i've never i'm gonna watch the show now how good is that <laughs> szechuan sauce by the way what's what is it i don't know it's I, a, I think what szechuan is sauce typically is, is soy sauce is it no it's, the it's typically a very hot typically szechuan sauce is spicy it's like sriracha yeah, it's like um, it's kind of a viscous, like with with a red. Let me see what it looks like. Chin. Pepper flakes in it. I you never fucked it. with it, Chin. I, when I go to Chinese restaurants, all Chinese restaurants have it. Uh, I don't know all of them, but anyone has any? Send it. Does it? That Szechuan is a type of cooking. Yeah, and it's got peppers in it. Here, see what's in Szechuan sauce. Oh gosh. Uh, uh, let's, let, let me guess. I'm going to say soy sauce, red peppers, chili peppers, uh, uh, mushroom sauce. Okay. Soybeans, salt, alcohol. No, no. Well, Let me go back. Hot and spicy. There we go. Well, that's tamari sauce, right? Apple cider Plum vinegar. Juice. Yeah, but is that it? It's, that says tamari honey. soy sauce, dude. Let's see. Let's see what Szechuan sauce says. Well, he's on Szechuan. Yeah. I think that's no, what's in it. I did ingredients, but no, there, there we go down. So Szechuan sauce recipe, Genius Kitchen. Well, that's a that's a homemade recipe. Mix ginger, garlic, red pepper, soy. Chili, garlic sauce, and sugar in a pan and warm till near boiling. Combine brown and corn st- broth and cornstarch in small bowl, bowl stir to dissolve. All right. Well, so it's red crazy. peppers and you just taste red peppers and garlic. Uh, and so it's Chinese it's, barbecue sauce. Yeah. Hey, it's Chinese barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah, well, sir, it's delicious. Everyone relax. It's yeah. Chinese barbecue sauce. Ginger, get some ginger. I'll definitely get some dry try it. sherry. I'll try it. Garlic, dry crushed red pepper. <laughs> I tell you what, he makes that with a little Chick Fil A sandwich. What's that thing in Chick Fil A? It's really good, man. One right up the street, really, by the freeway. Their milkshake. Do you know where red peppers are indigenous to? Where they come from? (laughs) Could you please tell us? Because we've been dying (laughs) to know. The um, South America. The South America or (laughs) South America? I was going to say the Andes. I think it's South America. 
It's a new world vegetable. It's a nightshade vegetable. Thing. <laughs> I like it myself. What else you got, Chin? Uh, check this guy out. I don't know how this is even possible. Uh, uh, he's a tracker. This guy is, is arrested for his 28th DUI. Well, DWI. we got it. We got it to put him in jail. should just be three. What's that, what happened to the three strikes rule? I don't know. This, is, some, dr- this is in Minnesota. I drink to get drunk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just stay home. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like he's done everything wrong in his life. <laughs> Never made a right decision. Never. <laughs> has, has Cam his... Newton been shamed into uh, apologizing? Oh, he apologized right away. For an off... He what did, apologized. What did he say? Oh, I didn't get that either. What, why is that such a... Uh, if you watch it, it's like, and I'm a big Cam Newton fan, but you watch it's like, oh, what are you doing? What, what he say? Being what? the leader of an organization, like you got to know better. This female reporter who's been reporting on the NFL for quite some time, she's actually uh, reporting for the Carolina Panthers, asked about route running. And he goes, it's hilarious to hear a woman ask about route running. Well, he he'd never heard it probably. So that was an honest kind of, damn, I never heard a woman ask about routes because that is a very... Like if a woman said that, I'd be like, are you asking me just to, you know. She's an NFL yeah. reporter. Yeah. That's an interesting outfit. He always dresses crazy. Yeah. Handsome That's his guy. thing. Um, yeah, when you see it, you're like, oh, why would you do that, man? Mm-hmm. But then she, no, don't defend him here. B. Yeah, but could, could it have been this? Listen, could it have been listen, this? B. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. I'm, I'm going to gonna help you out here. So he does that. She comes to him after, and he's a dick to her afterwards. Like she was like, whoa, I've been working for the Carolina Panthers Covering football for yeah. great, and he's like, super she needs to dick. be taken seriously. Yeah, super dick about it. Okay. Uh, so then Dan and dropped them. His sponsor dropped them, and then he came out and did a thing. He's like, I have daughters. I probably shouldn't have said that. And um, but the funny thing is, is I don't think anyone should lost sponsors of their jobs over right. it. No one did. Jeez. But so he lost a sponsor. But then the girl talking all that shit. She was like, this is how it is in my line of business. Blah blah blah. Sure. Well, they go back and they find that she tweeted out in 2012 like. Driving my dad to the south, he's making the best racist jokes ever. Hashtag <laughs> racist jokes are so funny. So it's like, <laughs> oh well, now well, you're fucked. Well, say, and now, by it doesn't the way, make what he did right. And by the way, maybe his dad, maybe her dad was not a bad guy. Maybe, maybe her dad is telling funny racist jokes. She's laughing because they're outrageous, and neither one of them believe it. Like, let's all take a step back and just man, with it's it's the public. Marketplace is very unforgiving. It's the world we live in now. Yeah, it's the world. You can't say anything. Well, like I tweet, and so I nothing's innocent, right? So I blast out this Dove ad campaign because people tag me and like, look at this shop, and it's that. And then people are like, no, you didn't see the whole ad, man. Like it's fucked up. Like the whole ad goes through shows all these different races. People just want it to paint the picture that they want. You know, like black to white. Yes. Either way, I didn't post it because I give a flying fuck. I post because it's the worst mark in the world. It's hilarious. How that got past a big corporation like Dove. Yeah. Even when you look at it going through the different ethnic, you know, through Asian, white, black, even that's a bad idea. So that doesn't give them a free pass. And they've gotten in trouble before for posting stupid shit like this. I, I think we're all. I don't too post sensitive. it to make, you know, yeah. you, su- you conscious of Dove being racist. I don't yeah. think they're racist. I just think they're more. I don't think most out. Americans identify as racist. Oh, I know. do. I don't at all. I do. I, I don't think so at all. I do. I mean, if that's the case, explain why Barack Obama won won two elections in a row, a black man as our president. I mean, you, it's it's you got to give people at least some credit. We've come a long fucking way. By the way, what I think is really funny is even neo Nazis. Racism is such a four letter world that even neo Nazis. So funny. They're like, I'm not a racist. I'm not. I'm just pro white. And they go, I mean, Jews are different because they're not people. I mean, you know, but it's unbelievable. <laughs> That'd be racist. Even, obviously, but even the extreme will defend themselves against the notion that they are racist. Now, that's a bad example. That's but the worst I don't think, example no, you've ever given. No, it's given. not, because I don't think most Americans, I think it's unfair to say that most Americans are racist or identify that way. I I really don't, well, don't, I don't say the majority are racist. Yeah. I think there's a lot of racism in America. I think we've in come all a forms. long way, though, boy. We've been coming a long way. Yeah, we've come a long way. You have way. to give it credit. That's a long way. We've come a long way. We still have a long ways if to you, go. If you say anything racist nowadays, there's such ramifications. So, so talk about protections. Talk about the idea that you have a voice, at least. I think that there are there is a legacy of racism that has that we are dealing with, like the residue of poor schooling and neighborhoods that were redlined. So you have like ghettos and things like that. Yes. Um, I think we're dealing with that, but I think I think there are a lot of Americans who believe in fair play and a meritocracy. And I frankly think most Americans like the great thing is like fucking uh, what's his name Steve Bannon on Charlie Rose, really interesting uh, interview. 
It's like Hillary Clinton. He goes, they were talking about transgender bathrooms, running 82 articles in a period of like two months in the New York Times about transgender bathrooms. And he said 50% of Americans have $400 in the bank. $400. Think about that for a second. When you have $400 in the bank and you lost your job because of illegal immigration or globalism because those jobs went overseas, you can talk all you want. At the end of the day, you don't have money and a way to earn a living. And you can't even provide for your kids. You're not thinking. You're not thinking about stuff, transgender. Yeah. You're not even thinking about race. You're just thinking about where can I make Surviving. some more money. Yeah. And, and we have to, you have to recognize that, which is one of the biggest reasons Trump won. So, you know, politicians, the media, Hollywood, Wall Street, all those people, all of us are out of touch because everybody lives in a bubble. You know, it's a really, maybe that's my dropping knowledge, by the way. <laughs> but I want to do your drop. I want to do that thing you sent me. It's interesting, right? That. Yeah. Do uh, you see that Jamel Hill, Jamil Hill, got suspended by ESPN now? Remember the one that came out about Trump? Tweet out about Trump talking shit to mm -mm. Trump, saying he's a racist. Oh, he you guys suspended. haven't seen this? No. Oh, it's a her. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And I she's saw, on the, the six with yeah. the Sports Center show. Yeah, yeah, I saw So it. I thought she was pretty. Um... She did it again, though. Uh -oh. She did it again. Yeah. So what, I, what, what did she spend for this time? Let's see. Um, I guess a journalist is supposed to be somewhat. Uh, she wanted neutral? fans to boycott the NFL. Sorry. After so uh, she Jamel called Hill, the country that's been anchor who called for fans boycott the NFL after labeling President Trump a white supremacist on Twitter has been suspended for two weeks. Uh, scroll down. Uh, change happens when advertisers are impacted. If you strongly reject what Jerry Jones said, the key is the advertisers. And then she gets suspended. Donald Trump is a white supremacist who has largely surrounded himself with, um, I don't know what that said. Um, yeah, I, this what I love this because this is what it makes America great. Everybody has a point of view. Let's have a debate about it. Speak your mind. Um, you do work for a corporation. I guess there's ways to do things. Uh, it, it, it's you know what the problem is when you have a brand like ESPN or CNN and you have a journalist that goes off like that. You lose your um, your impartiality. And it can it can hurt your brand. So I can understand yeah, but they're also a corporation that. that are through through Disney, and they're also uh, they benefit from the NFL ratings. So when she goes boycott the NFL, their biggest money maker, yeah. they're going to go. Mm, we can't have this. Yeah, and I and you're by not the way, bigger than I, the NFL. I get that, and that's fair. You, there's a time and a place to express your opinion. There is a time and a place. If people are studying in a library and you come in and you start to express your opinion. Well, that's so. Where, that's can, actually she, where, a where can she express her opinion? I, I, I think if that this is her social media. I think you can express. That's a very because you were very just saying sticky that. question. It's a sticky question because if you're an employee and she didn't do it on she didn't do it on her show on ESPN. She did on her. She social did media. something on ESPN initially. I remember. No, that. no, she originally. No, this all comes from her social media. It comes. She hasn't. She hasn't said any of this on her show. I, I think that they would probably say, you know, is it is it uh, connected to. ESPN. Did you do it from work? I mean, there's all kinds of issues, but Did it's a very tweet from it's work? a question. But where it's a good question because where do you draw the line? Are you allowed as a when you're not working? Are you allowed to speak your mind? There is the First Amendment. Um, but again, to your point, if if you are working for an organization that is directly tied to the uh, to the NFL, and you tell people they should um, boycott it. I think that company has the right to suspend you. That company has the right to say you are you are we don't, presenting. We don't a direct agree conflict. with what you're doing. Yeah, you're for what we represent. We're going to suspend you for right. two weeks because it's a you're conf it's a conf conflict of interest, right? If you if I produce a product and I have an employee who goes this product's bullshit, don't buy it. I can't have you working for my company because you don't believe in the, it's 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 a it's. It, it, you have to kind of extrapolate to that <clears throat> that simplicity, I but think. But this started with policy. the president. You know what I'm saying? She didn't talk shit about ESPN. Uh, no, but when you say boycott the NF the the NFL, it, what did she actually get suspended for? Same boycott the NFL. Yeah. Okay. And mm. and the, her company, the ESPN, is what? How does it benefit from the NFL? Their ratings. Monday are... Night Football on ESPN. They paid 14 billion. Yeah. Well, how much did they pay for so that? So they're 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 inextricably some crazy fucking. They're financially money. inextricably linked, right? So 
Uh, 15.2 billion. There you go. In 2011, it airs Monday Night Football. Okay. So the NFL and its content are obviously extremely valuable to ESPN, and Hill's latest violation will cost her two weeks of her work. ESPN declined comment regarding whether or not Hill will be paid during the suspension. The NFL declined to comment. She'll go speak at colleges and make a fortune. Um, Not really. You don't want to lose that gig. No. But then, so what do you pipe down? I don't. Where can she voice how she feels if she if she hates Trump, time and a place, time and a place. Where maybe, would that be? Be you keep saying you, that because if you're working for a corporation, but your social you, media, and you, yes, and you tweet that you're exactly like somebody gets fired because they tweet something that is not um, that is not indicative of the culture of that corporation. Okay, so if I am working God, for social Google media or so anybody personal, else, if I'm, if I'm not anymore. Not anymore. If I'm working for Google or yeah. whoever it might be, yeah. and I say, my hey. brother, my brother's account's private, or I think it was private for a long time because yeah. his work told him to do it. Because sure. he was getting, he'd post something, people like, oh, big dick bandit, and like, we can't have this on your social <laughs> That's media. Right. That's right. <laughs> because there's something called a corporate culture and corporate pro- protocol, and you can't have big dick bandits. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How hilarious is that? Andy yeah. post, what's up, you big dick bandit? His work's like, what the fuck is what going on? What the fuck here? is going on? You have on. a fat dick? Well, we yeah. can't have that around here. Yeah. <laughs> um, he, he, there's always this cognitive dissonance. This is this is huge. Like you're always going to have to weigh sort of like so, two different values. So originally this started with this. Donald Trump is a white supremacist who has surrounded himself with other white supremacists. She called him the most ignorant offensive president of my lifetime. Oh. He'll also call Trump a bigot and unqualified and unfit to be president. She even added, if he were not white, he would never have been elected. Which yeah. is probably true. That's heavy. Yeah. So this is a great, this is actually a great dropping knowledge to work into because this is something called cognitive dissonance. And we all deal with this. And it, what that means is there's a conflict of interest. There, there's, there's conflicting values that we all have. So for example, we believe in equality, right? Mm-hmm. But so all men are created equal. So if you believe in equality, that's that's one idea. But if you also believe in a meritocracy, if you also believe in in democracy capitalism, if you believe in a marketplace, in a way, you can't really keep people equal unless you keep people who are really good at producing down. We're always working with that. Slavery was what made our country a modern country. The the massive contradiction in the fact that the founding fathers in this country was founded and predicated on the concept that all men are created equal and have certain unalienable rights under our creator, which are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Oh, but by the way, these black people, well, um, not really uh, because, you know, uh, this thing called white gold, which is cotton, we got all this free labor and an entire economy is built on it. That forcing people to have to contend with that that sort of like major disparity is how cultures actually evolve because it, it stirs debate, it stirs conflict, it stirs people to kind of call each other out on how are you living? You believe in this, but you don't. look at immigration. Immigration, illegal immigration is a classic example. There are people who are refugees who are coming over. Look at the dreamers. I don't want to kick those people out. But then there is also the idea that, okay, we believe in mercy. We believe people give it, that some people just need help. But then you also have to weigh something called justice, which is people that are already here and a limited amount of resources. And the fact that illegal immigrants are taking jobs away from Mexicans and other people that actually came here legally. So, so it's a very difficult conversation and a very difficult thing. to You're weighing two values. And when you have to weigh two values, that cognitive dissonance is actually how um, – a culture grows and a culture uh, evolves because you have spirited debate and you come with a, a, into a compromise. Be, That's how laws are made. Do as well. that. Do that. Drop of knowledge because I read this. Do you still have that article I sent you? Yeah, I wanted to do that too. That that's so is, this, that would, is this the last? Was this yeah, the last that's, one? Because I, I, I read this drop of knowledge because again, when whenever we talk about guns, we get so much. I get I get so many articles and people with their ideas and wh- how they feel about it. Yeah, it was and great. then this one I found on my own uh, from Washington Post. Yeah, I got it. And I this thought, was written. I thought, God, this is this, this was written is by, interesting. Yeah, this was written by a woman who's anti-gun. Yeah, she's her name is Leah uh, Libresco, and she um, was a, she's a statistician and former news writer at Thirty Five Eight, which is a data journalism site, um, and she's the author of uh, Arriving at Amen. 
And she's, I, I thought it was very interesting because she is somebody who is essentially, um, you know, pro gun control and anti gun. But she found that, uh, so, so what happens is when there's a terrible event like Las Vegas, we all start talking about gun, gun control. And politicians have to do something. So they start coming, jumping up there with sort of uh, different reforms. Let's get rid of bump stocks. Okay. Let's get rid of different things. And then she kind of realized that so many of, she spent three months analyzing all 33,000 lives ended by guns each year in the United States. And she said she found round up completely frustrated with what would really work because it's a case by case basis. For, so, for example, when you talk about getting rid of um, guns like uh, uh, automatic weapons, okay, or assault rifles, okay, for example. Or gun laws, like making sure, you know, to cutting down on gun laws. She went into it going, we yeah. got to fix the gun laws. Yeah. We got to fix something. This isn't right. Yeah, she goes, she goes, mass shootings were too rare. They always bring up Australia. They had a very, very successful program. She goes, mass shootings were way too rare in Australia for their absence after the buyback program to be clear evidence of progress. You can't take you know, such a, such a rare occurrence and then extrapolate, you know, but what I thought was really interesting in this is that she talked about like assault weapons. Um, that's a classification that includes any semi-automatic weapon that has two or more features such as bayonet mounts, a rocket propelled grenade launcher mount, a folding stock or a pistol grip. Uh, but you know, guns are, she was talking about how guns are so modular. A lot of the stuff can be done in somebody's workshop. Okay silencers are another thing like silencers in the movies where they're like like that that's when not you, real yeah when you i've shot silenced uh, uh i shot silenced uh rifles i, I shot a 50 caliber uh, si- uh with a huge silencer on it i shot assault weapons with silencers but she talks about how they, they, it's they did research on them and yeah it's just not it's not yeah. gonna blow your eardrums out no. but i mean it's well and everyone AR, in this office would hear it yeah an ar-15 with a silencer is about as loud as a jackhammer Okay, goosh, goosh, you know, I mean, it's loud. That's what the silence Yeah, the point is to make to, to make the, the not destroy your hearing. Uh, but they kept looking through all the data. And what, what I thought was really interesting is two thirds. And nobody talks about this. Two thirds of gun deaths in the United States every year are suicides. So when you talk about, you know, 33,000 people are killed a year with guns. L- hold on. Hold on. Two thirds of those are suicides. So if, By the so way, if you had these crazy gun laws, yes. those people are still going to find ways whether yes. it's automatic, whatever bumper, what, they're going to find ways to kill themselves. Yes. The other thing is that that um, most of those guns and most of the the deaths from guns in this country are handguns. They are not assault rifles. Um, about uh, the, the 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 next group uh, were young men ages fifteen to thirty four killed in homicides. And, and that's m- mainly gang related. Yes, idea. yes. They were more likely to die at the hands of other young men, often related to gang loyalties and other street violence. And the last notable group of similar deaths was the 1,700 women murdered per year, usually as a result of domestic violence. So far more people were killed in these ways than in mass shooting incidents. Um, so we have to keep these things into context. OK, when you're trying to make the world safer, of course, the only want argument to there is you, you could say, well, if the gun laws were stricter then that moron who did the Vegas shooting wouldn't be able to do as much damage if you didn't have those type of guns. Yeah. But then they say even if you did have these rules and regulations on those bumps and those assault rifles, mm-hmm. they these guys can go and do it themselves. No matter what law you have in place, they yeah. can do, do it themselves. Yes. A lot of times they buy the gun, not like that, go home and create it themselves. Or, for example, they always talk about. You know, um, well, you got to have mental health screening. OK, cool. So Adam Lanza, Adam Lanza's mother had guns and she was totally she went through all the background check and Who's everything Adam else. Lanza? He killed all those children at Stony Brook oh, or okay. whatever it's called. Uh, I don't Sandy, know. Hook. Sandy Hook. Sandy Hook. Well, Adam Lanza was a fucking cuckoo bird who took his mother's guns and killed his mother. So, y- you know, you're going to have you might have a family member that's crazy. These things are very hard to legislate. And one of the things is she, who is anti-gun, but I thought it was very fair in her article, says is that you've got to do this like you've got to kind of do it a case by case or pinpoint. So if you have an abusive husband who's been beating the shit out of his wife, that might be a guy you might say you can't get a gun and you might have to go do the interview. When you have gang members that are shooting or they might li- they, they may be likely to kill somebody, you've got to do that case by case basis. It's not easy, but you've got to go in there and figure out what you can do for that young man to get him out of that situation. The thing that she says, and she goes, when I went into this going, we need stricter gun laws, everything, which I've been, you know, I, I voice my opinion. I think we need stricter gun laws, and there's also a gun issue. 
But when you look in the facts and these numbers, which I was surprised by, yeah. she goes, I'm even more discouraged now because I don't have an answer. And she looked at all the of strict it. gun laws. Is there not are so many answer. gun laws as it is right now? Yeah, but she's know? saying like when everyone goes, oh, we need strict gun laws, this, this, this. That's not the answer because yeah. when you look at the facts, that's not the issue. Right. That's right. She goes, I'm more discouraged. Yeah. It, 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 there, there is no clear answer here. You no know? one, no one has the right answer. People no. have th- their right to feel that there should be stricter gun laws. People who are gun law uh, abiding citizens have their right to feel like more guns. You know, I don't think that any. I don't think there's any there, blanket statement. No, so, there's no one yeah. answer. So oh, the way, go, yeah. let's do this. Right. The and way you stop go, a yeah. good bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. Usually, <laughs> well, you got the SWAT team in there to kill that guy before you know, and he killed himself. But you know, in that in that case, there were there could have been everybody could have had a gun, and they didn't know where those shots were coming from. So. There's always a way around that. So in that case, not so much. My, my, my one thing about the Second Amendment, guys, and I believe in the Second Amendment, but my one thing about the Second Amendment, guys, that I think is a romantic argument is that they'll say, well, we need a standing militia. We need to be able to fight government tyranny in case the government turns on us and, you know, uh, they try to take us over. That's always been a long standing. You know, it's always like a, I think John Adams lost the art of, uh, lost the election of 1800 because he believed in a standing army. The founding fathers were very, very worried about having a standing army because they were, they were afraid that a charismatic leader like Napoleon could take that army over and essentially, you know, run a military dictatorship. That was always a fear with Americans and should be. But the idea that a lot of these Second Amendment guys goes, I have my guns and if the government comes for me, I'll be ready. Listen, bro, listen, that's a fucking pipe dream. Because the fact of the matter is your government has a monopoly on violence. A federal government probably should. And if you think your AK-47, your your sniper, 50 caliber sniper rifle, or even your machine guns you have class three license for, if you think that's going to stop a tank, you're out of your fucking mind. It ain't. So that's a little bit, that's a little bit of a romantic argument i get it i have a little bit of myself but it's it doesn't hold water it's bullshit yeah, i thought that was interesting man yeah there's no right answer there's no right answer I, I i'm i'm it's okay to say that i say that all the time i don't know i don't fucking know but i know a lot of times when when politicians I know there's people about smarter laws. than both of us trying to figure it out exactly. and they don't have an answer so exactly. usually yeah 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 they and are. i'm not educated but i thought it was interesting laws. though because the minute you brought it up you realized right away how a politician can't even talk about this shit unless you're on one team or another. I told you, I went, whenever we talk about guns, we get so much weird feedback. It's such yeah. a sensitive topic for everybody it's like, it's involved. It's like an extension of their dick. It's like, it's like oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, chill, man. Yeah. It, chill, it goes, I'm not making law. I'm it just, goes deep in the American so character. So Americans deep. identify with their cars and their guns. Guns man. and race. Deep. Guns and race oh, go super fuck, deep. Man. We can't talk about Hell anything. yes. Hell and yes. That's why we need to buy guns. <laughs> I got some. Find the kid guns. I, I have some I too. Got some, buddy. I have some myself. Now you, now you do too. Yes, I do. Yep. You got you got you got some guns. I got some I stay guns. I up all night just like that. I just feel good having one. I feel like a pussy having one. I wish I didn't have to have one. But mm. that's me. That's you. Yeah. What can you do? Good good talk, man. Thanks, buddy. Hey, remember uh before the show aired we accidentally kissed? Yep. My my tongue touched your upper lip. <laughs> yeah. That happened. We have video yeah, of it. It happened. Video. Why do you think that happened? I don't you got know. too close. I don't know. You're weird, man. I don't know. Hey, hey, Pete. hey. You're cute. You got kids? <laughs> you got kids? What are you waiting for? Yeah. What are you waiting for? You got kids? What are you waiting for? Hey, you got uh, kids? Huh? Uh, no. Hey, bro, let me get your number. Uh, <laughs> all right, man. Weird. Hey, guess what, guys? Speaking of your comedy number, if you guys like to laugh, <laughs> If you don't like to laugh, if you don't like laughing real hard for an hour straight or more, don't come to the San Jose Improv this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to be fucking spitting heat. I love San Jose. Oh, it's a great room. Yeah, I'll be doing stand up there. At the San Jose Improv Thursday, this Thursday, the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th. You come on out and see me, you, you fucks. Go see him. And I'm in Calusa Casino. That is NorCal. Mm. I, I mean, what's about an hour from San Sacramento? Yeah. November 3rd and then November 30th, I'm in the Inland Empire, Ontario Ooh. Improv. That takes longer to drive to. It sure us. does. It's out there. It's got to be the worst drive. It's tough. Man, Either that way, traffic. One Woo! show only in both cities. TFATK.com right now for Brian and myself. Get them. Also, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific, only at TFATK.com. We are releasing the Chinder Tees. And the uh, dick diver. 
Is it Dick Diver? Oh, it's Dick Diver. Certified Dick Diver. Certified Dick Diver. Yeah. Both of them are back. Get them now. This is the final kid. We're out.